92.3 News FM News FM Bukang kailangan ko na naman palitan ng bubong ko, pare. Mag-iisang taong pa lang yan. May tulo na kagad. Ay, bossing! Baka naman kasi hindi matiba yung ginamit nyo. Dapat ang gamitin mo ay Cherry Loom. Ang yerong aluminum. Basta yero, Cherry Loom. Tiba'y protektado sa pangmatagalang yero. Power and Play! Narito na ako, Nolly Iyala, kilalani ng mga nasa likod ng bawat laro sa buhay man o sa playing court. Game na tayo! Power and Play sa Radyo 5 92.3 News FM Sa kapwa ako Pilipino Ipagmalaki ang galing na meron tayo Ilang tagdang likas nating talento At magdala ng saya sa mundo Sa harap ng pagsubok ay di susuko Para sa pangarap tayo'y pusigido Pagpakitang gilas na at pagpapatalo Ipagdiwang natin ang Pilipino Mula noon at hanggang ngayon, talento natin ang bida Mula sa simpleng bakuran hanggang entablado natin ipakita May pagsubok man ng Pinoy, pinalalakas ng saya San man tayo sa pulo, chumbe, chumbay, lakay, maliga Sama-sama pakita, ang galing natin katropa Sa kapwa ko Pilipino Kung kayo po ay uh, fan ng Meralco Bolt, siguradong kagabi nag-inuman na kayo. <laughs> Samantala, kung kayo naman ay taga-sunod ng San Miguel Birmen, naku po, aray ko po, umiiyak na kayo. At marami pa tayong uh, mga balita, ang pag-uusapang katulad niyan. Kaya dito lang kayo ngayong Sabado ng umaga sa inyong paboritong kasama tuwing Sabado sa Almosal. Edi Pano, bango na! Power and play na! Power and Play with Com Noli Iyala. Magandang magandang umaga po sa inyo lahat mga kapatid. Uh, muli po nagbabalik ang inyong paboritong kasama tuwing Sabado ang Power and Play. Hatid sa inyo ng Cherry Loom, ang yerong may aluminum. Cherry Tigo, it's fun to drive. At ang Chooks to Go, ang nag-iisang manok ng bayan. Ako po si Noli Iyala at uh, as always... Dalawang oras na naman tayo ng hitik na hitik na usapan tungkol sa mundo ng palakasan. Ha? Siya nga pala, official na po, nagsimula ang uh, tag-init, ha? ang summer. Naku eh, talaga namang napaka-init sa labas. Ha? Ha? Napaka-init na po. Kaya mag-iingat po tayo. Ha? Uh, kalangan patuloy na nag- nag-hydrate. Uh, tayo po ay magdala ng payong kung tayo po ay nasa sa lansangan. At uh, kung kaya naman ay uh, pumasok tayo sa mga malalamig na mga gusali o di kaya sa ating mga bahay yung ating pong electric fan pero nakaka ano rin ang sakit din ano Jerjen no yung yung taas naman ng kuryente hindi ka makapag aircon hindi mo mabuksan yung yung uh, <laughs> yung yung electric fan mo ng buong araw pambihirang buhay ito no kaya po eh, talagang Inom na lang tayo para medyo lumamig ang katawan, uminom lagi ng tubig. Marami po tayong pag-uusapan ngayong araw pong ito, kagaya na nabanggit ko kanina, napakainit na rin ng bakbakan sa PBA. Dalawang ko po na na ang nakalusot patungo sa semifinals. Of course, yung top-seeded Magnolia ay pasok na ng tambakan nila ang Phoenix kagabi. Samantalang lusot na rin po ang Meralco kontra San Miguel. Naku, pag-uusapan natin mamaya yung San Miguel. Ha? Sa, sa dami ng kanilang nakuwang player, sa galing ng import na sabi nila ay uh, talagang NBA, eh napasibat, napauwi, napabakasyon ng napakaaga ng Meralco Bolts. At uh, talagang uh, kamot uh, ulo na lang ang mangyayari dito sa San Miguel. And uh, definitely, uh, panibagong palaisipan yan dyan po sa kanilang Kuponan. Pamaya makakasama natin ang import ng San Miguel Birmen, si Shabazz Mohamed sa isang uh, napakagandang interview that we got just before he played nung, uh, yung kanyang pong knockout game kagabi. No? Mamaya rin po ay ating uh, makakapanayam ang dalawang player ng uh, Signal HD Spikers 
mga bagong lipat na si Ces Molina at Ria Meneses. Makakasama natin mamaya yan. Ha? And again, ang PVL po nagsisimula na rin. Three days ago, it started. At ang aksyon ay uh, umatikabo dyan po sa PVL. And we will talk to the uh, Signal HD Spikers mamaya maya. And of course, we will have uh, our spotlight once again sa isa na namang NSA. This time, ang Sepak Takraw. Kasama ng kanilang Pangulo, si Attorney Karen Caballero. And of course, mamaya sa Fast Take, magandang usapan to. Homer Saison at Abak Cordero ang ating mga kapanayam sa Fast Take. So, papano? Eh, game na! Magsimula na tayo sa pamamagitan ng ating Sports Weekly Highlights. Simulan natin sa boxing. The next Pacquiao boxer has officially landed. Wagi sa una niyang amateur bout sa Amerika ang panganay ni Senador Manny Pacquiao na si Jimwell. Decision win ang nakuha ni Pacman 2.0 sa House of Boxing Gym sa San Diego kontra sa American o Mexican-American na si Andres Rosales. Noong Disyembre pa lang nakuha ni Jimwell ang kanyang boxing license at sa wildcard gym din nag ensayo Best of luck, Pacman Jr. Di pa man nagsisimula ang training, nalagasan na agad ang Philippine Women's Volleyball Team Pool matapos mag out na ang ilang marquee players. Kasama sa mga nag-beg off para sa SEA Games duties, sina Gia Morado de Guzman, Kim D, Kalei Mao, Jas Nabor at Din Din Santiago Manabat. Nadagdag naman sa pool si Majoy Baron. Pinangungunahan ni na Aliza Valdez at Jaja Santiago ang pool na lilipad patungo ng Brazil sa April 12 para mag-insayo. Sa ibang sports, sinuspindi ng Philippine Olympic Committee ang Philippine Track and Field Association o PATAFA at Philippine Tennis Association o FILTA. 90 days ang suspension ng parehas na associations. Pinarusahan ng PATAFA dahil ayon kay POC President Bumble Tolentino, Inuna pa nito ang pride sa issue nito kay EJ Obiena. Suspendido naman ang filta dahil di raw nasunod ang utos ng International Tennis Federation na baguhin ang charter nito at maghalal ng mga bagong board members. Sa basketball, the Saint is back! Uy, sino itong the Saint? Nag-unretire sa professional play si Ronald Tubid Aba. <laughs> para maglaro sa PBA 3x3. Papalitan muna ni Tubid ang slot ng magpapahingang si Jed Bulawan ng Terra Firma kung saan siya rin ang team manager. Pero di raw ito permanente at baka tumagal lang ng dalawang legs. Baka wala ng legs si, si paring Ronald. <laughs> Good luck, uh, Ronald. Sa 5 on 5 naman, nangunguna sa PBA Best uh, Player of the Conference Race si Northport star Robert Bolick. May 39.9 statistical points si Babes Bolick matapos manguna sa points assist at steals sa Governor's Cup. Sinusundan ni na Matthew Wright at Mikey Williams si Bolik para sa award. Playoff update naman tayo! Buhay pa ang Barangay Hinebra at Alaska Aces matapos itulak sa win or go home ang serye nila kontra TNT at NLEX. Ba, buhay pa, pati ang Alaska, lalo na yung Alaska ha? Dahil ang Alaska po, eh, uh, alam natin magbibitaw na yan. Samantala, dumiretso naman sa semifinals ang Meral Cobalts na nilaglag ang San Miguel Birmen 185 kagabi. Ganon din ang Magnolia na na-eliminate na ang Phoenix 127 to 88. At yan po ang buod ng ating mga balita sa ating sports weekly highlights. Kung inyo po napanood yung laban kagabi, talaga namang ang Meral ko ay uh, ganado-ganado. Of course, Tony Bishop. Had a monster game kagabi, 32 points, 16 rebounds, 4 assists, 2 blocks at he outplayed the uh, highly touted Shabazz Mohamed ng San Miguel Beer. Chris Newsom, ang ganda rin ng ipinakita para sa kuna, uh, kupuna ni uh, Coach Norman Black. Kaya sila po ang papasok na patungo sa semifinals. Uh, of course, ang San Miguel once again ousted from the Governor's Cup. At uh, hindi ko maintindihan ha? At pag-uusapan natin mamaya yan sa Fast Day Kung ano ba nagiging problema ng San Miguel Birmen Samantala, ang Magnolia naman Patuloy ang pamamamayagpag uh, And of course, ang kanilang uh, number one seed Ay talagang uh, deserve na deserve uh, Ang dami nilang scorers Ang dami nilang players na nag-contribute 
Paul Lee, 20 points. Baroka, 18 and 7. Si Mike Harris, ang kanilang import, only 15 points. Pero 8 rebounds, 5 assists. Uh, Gio Halalon, 15 points and 8 assists. Andyan pa si uh, Calvin Abueva. Yung nagbabalik na si Calvin. Uh, 12 and 9. Ian Sangalang. Adrian Wong, bagong salta, 11 points. Rome De La Rosa, 10 puntos. Alam mo, yun ang maganda eh. They did not get superstars to their team. Kumuha sila ng role players. At tuloy, nakatulong sa kanilang rotation, nakatulong sa kanilang depensa. And that is really something that is very important para sa Magdolia. Para ma mapanatili ang kanilang number one seating. Pasok na sila sa semifinals. Makakaharap nila ngayon ang kuponan ng Meralco. Ang ganda ng laban niya. Na. In the meantime, dahil yan ang ating pinag-uusapan, dalawa na lang po ang serye na buhay sa PBA. Yung po yung Talk and Text Hinebra at saka yung Enlex at Alaska, yung Emotional Series. Kaya po, ang ating pupulsuhan ngayong araw na to At sumali kayo dahil ito po ay uh, pulso ng bayan. Hatid sa inyo ng Chooks to Go kung saan yung amin po mapipili ay magkakaroon ng dalawang GC o yung Oven Roasted Chicken. Pwede po yung uh, uh, redeem yan sa mga Chooks to Go branches. Ha? Ito po ang ating pupulsuhan. Ano po ang inyong fearless forecast sa dalawang natitirang do or die games ng PBA Governors Cup Quarterfinals. Ulitin ko po yan ha. Ano po ang inyong fearless forecast sa dalawang natitirang do or die games ng PBA Governors Cup Quarterfinals? Yan po ang Talk and Tech Sinebra at ang Enlex Alaska. Alright, so atin pong uh, babasahin ang inyong mga komentaryo mamaya at tayo po ipipili ng uh, dalawang mananalo ng Gift certificates mula sa Chooks to Go ang nag-iisang manok ng bayan. Ha? Ang gandang serya niya. Ha? Knockout game. Ngayong araw yan, ano? uh, Santi, no? today, no? ang uh, dalawang knockout game. Talk and Text, Hinebra, Enlex, Alaska. Of course, marami nagdarasal na ang Alaska ay uh, patuloy na tumakbo dahil alam natin this is their last conference. Mag, uh, Magbabaybay na po ang Alaska. So it will be very important na mapanood po natin yung seryeng yan. Alright, mga kaibigan, at this point, medyo ready na tayo para sa ating paboritong uh, segment. Uh, ito po ang Fast Take, kung saan ang, ang uh, opinion po ng ating mga kaibigan sa sports media ang mahalaga. At uh, ngayong araw pong ito, maswerte tayo dahil ang ating mga kasama eh, sikat na sikat. At of course, veteranong Sports journalist. Walang iba kundi si Abak Cordero ng Chase Down and of course ng Philippine Star. Magandang umaga Abak! Ito po ang Fast Take. Hatid sa inyo ng Cherry Tigo. Alright, Abak, magandang magandang umaga. Yes, good morning, Com. Uh, good morning sa lahat ng viewers ng uh, this of this a uh, very popular uh, program na pang Sabado. Good to see you. Abak, uh, of course mamaya ang programa ng Chase Down. Si unang una, sino ba ang guest natin sa Chase Down mamaya? Well, I think uh, we have uh, JB Casio and uh, Kiana D and uh, uh, the uh, 3 on 3 squad of uh, Coach Willie Wilson. Ayos. Ah, yes. Maganda yan. Uh, Kiana D had a good game kahapon and of course si JB Casio, uh, I'm sure he will reminisce on his day sa Alaska, nakakalungkot nga na uh, ang Alaska ay maglalaro na ng kanilang huling komperensya. Mamaya-maya, makakasama rin natin. Uh, we invited Homer Sison to be with us dito sa Fast Take. But let me first uh, get to you, Abak, dahil alam natin na katatapos lamang ng serye ng Meralco at saka ng, ng, uh, ng San Miguel and... Uh, you know, that that obviously was a brilliant win para kay Coach Norman Black. Um, I just want to talk about Meralco. Ano, magandang ginagawa nila ngayon, Abak. What do you see in Meralco na sa tingin mo, uh, they have a good chance to make it to the finals? Number one, siguro, it's the hunger, no? Meralco is a very, is a team that's very hungry for the championship. And I'm sure, uh, while, while, uh, Talk and Text is the flagship team of the MVP group. Eh, gusto rin makita siguro ni, ni boss MVP na makakawa ka naman ng Meralco ang uh, PBA Championship at baka magkaroon ng uh, 
rollback sa sa presyo <laughs> ng uh, kuryente dito sa ating bansa. <laughs> Mag- maganda 'yon, ha. Sana nga kung 'yun ang rason para para magkaroon ng rollback Eh, kausapin na natin si Commissioner Willie. <laughs> sure, hindi hindi magrereklamo ang mga tao. But, you know, kidding aside, malakas ang Meralco with Tony Bishop. It's good that they uh, si Chris Newsom is back on, in his game. And of course, uh, Chris Banquero was a good addition para dito sa kuponan na to. Um, but, you know, mabigat ang kanila mahaharap. And I want to look at that particular matchup against Magnolia. Matindi ito Magnolia. Nakita naman natin yung kombinasyon, yung... yung uh, lalim nitong Magnolia Abak and uh, it seems like parang unbeatable itong Magnolia. Kasi na nga parang uh, parang naka, nakatakda sila dito sa sa Governors Cup na ito na it's it's their uh, it's their tournament to win ano. Well, also it's their tournament to lose. Kumbaga no from the eliminations uh, from the start even before the uh, the 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 pandemic uh, stepped in and uh, and uh, put everything in halt. Ito uh, Magnolia, maganda talaga ang itinakbo. And uh, Coach Chito Victolero is uh, pinning all his hopes on his uh, import because uh, nasabi nga niya dati, he is very lucky. His team is very lucky to have uh, Harris as import because of his uh, work ethic on and off the court. He traps off to all to the teammates. No? So, so lahat para nagkakahiyaan. If you don't give your best and you see your import, trying his very best every game and every day in day out even in practice eh talagang kaya maganda ang uh, nilalaro nito Magnolia I- iba rin kasi ang naging uh, balasa ng Magnolia uh, mal- bagamat sila ay nagpalakas din nakakuha sila ng mga player na uh, feeling feeling in their needs ano abak uh, obviously uh, yung mga mga, mga manlalaro katulad ni Adrian Wong who is more known as a defender who's a uh, who has a nose for the ball hard worker uh, malaking bagay yung mga ganyan eh. obviously if you compare it uh, to other teams parang ang magnolia have the right pieces at the right places yes of course eh, nakita mo naman si si Adrian Wong he can, he, he sinks basket he's, he's not supposed to make ano pero ako i i believe that uh, in the end Uh, it will still be the, the the core who will uh, carry this team to victory. Iyan sila Poli, sila Mark Baroka, sila Iyan Sangalang. Eh, talagang pagdating sa pag, uh, when they get farther and they reach reach perhaps the the championship, eh, dun pa lalong lalabas ang ang laro nito mga veterano na to. I want to talk about Alaska a little bit dito. Uh, Baka alam natin, this is the last conference ng uh, ng Alaska and this series laban sa NLEX Sabi ko nga, it's a very emotional series no? uh, dahil um, this could be their last game today or they could stretch it. No? But ano ang latest? Uh, back, I, I know you are in, in the mix. Uh, marami ka nakakausap sa, sa PBA and of course sa, sa Alaska organization. What is the latest sa franchise ng Alaska? Uh, meron na bang buyers? Meron na bang interested uh, parties dito? May, may mga takers na ba? Yes, I, I think... Uh... Uh, they will come to a deal ano mukhang uh, mabebenta naman itong uh, Alaska because if you were if you were a party who's interested in uh, in uh, having or acquiring a a, uh, a uh, PBA team it's better to get this Alaska franchise than, oh. uh, than get a new one ano kumbaga ito eh start turnkey na lang ito eh kumbaga parang bahay na binili mo eh lilipatan mo na lang ano oh. kumpleto na meron ng washing machine Meron ng mga ka, may mga aircon na kumpleto na, no? Oh. So, it's it's easier, no? And I think it will uh, it will cost them less if they uh, if they uh, buy this uh, Alaska franchise. Because magkakaroon ng negotiations dyan. Magkakaroon ng tawaran, magkakaroon ng ganyan. Mahirap ang buhay ngayon. Pwede sabihin ng buyer. And uh, may pandemic. Ito, natitigil-tigil ang laro natin. So, this is as much as we can offer lang for this franchise. But Alaska is a, we're selling you a team, a, a team with a history, a, a team with a, a, a culture, a, a, a very uh, wonderful culture and a winning tradition. Ano? Yan naman ang uh, pwedeng bentahin ng Alaska dito. I think uh, may mga buyers na. No? And number one, lumalabas ng pangalan itong uh, Mr. Uh, Dennis Uy. And it is not the Dennis Uy uh, who owns the Phoenix franchise. This is a different Dennis Uy. 
Oo nga. Well, yun ba ang ano, yun ba ang uh, tila namumuro dito, yung uh, grupo nung Dennis Uy ng Converge? Uh, are you hearing other buyers dito na interesado? Uh, we're not going to confirm or uh, say na ito na nga, pero meron ka na bang naririnig uh, abak na mga iba pang mga partido na interesado dito? Ako lang, eh, on the part of, I, I am not speaking you know, on behalf of uh, the, the OE group, but for them to, to allow themselves, their names to come out in the open, unlike the others who are interested, who would rather keep their identities uh, under wraps. Eh, mukhang mas meron silang uh, interes, ano, for, for to allow themselves to be out in the open as, oh. a, as, a, uh, as an interested uh, buyer of their franchise. Well, there are other names. So, sinasabi nila, yung Master Sardines, gusto pumasok. And even in the past, sinasabi, yung Pure Gold, baka pwede, yung grupo ni Andrew Tan, mm -hmm. yung grupo mm -hmm. nila, ano, di ba? Pwede wow. pumasok lahat yan. Wow. Ang, ang bibigat yan. Well, yun ang mga pangalang, obviously, may mga pera. Obviously, merong uh, pangangailangan sa isang marketing tool katulad ng, ng P, or mar marketing platform katulad ng uh, PBA. And uh, malinaw, na malalakas ang uh, ownership at management or, uh, organizations niya. No? So, magandang mga pangalan niya and definitely magandang uh, development yan para sa grupo ng Alaska. But, well, aantayin natin ang balita mula kay Commissioner Willie and of course sa PBA board and uh, uh, everyone is of course holding their breath uh, hoping na uh, isang malakas at uh, talagang matibay na koponan ang papasok sa PBA kapalit ng Alaska. Mukhang nahihirapan si uh, Homer Saison na makapasok dahil uh, wala daw siyang Zoom. Kasi no, kadalasan, di ba, we use uh, uh, stream yard sa ating mga coverages. Pero mukhang uh, ngayon ay nahihirapan siya at mukhang siya ay bumabiyahe dyan sa, sa United States. Kaya medyo naipit po si uh, paring Homer Saison. So, we will have to um, Grill, abak kordero <laughs> kayong araw pong ito sa ating fast take. At uh, medyo simula na natin abak sa ating uh, paboritong fast take. Alam mo na ang drill dito, walang tama, walang mali. Bato-bato sa langit, tamaan, wag magagalit. At ang ating unang fast take issue of the morning abak is uh, tungkol sa ikang larangan ng, uh, ng basketball. Ha? Alam natin na itong San Miguel Beer ay napakalakas na ko pa na. Nagpalakas um, even during the uh, season. I mean, uh, during the conference, so nagkaroon tayo ng break, marami pumasok dyan. Si Jericho Cruz, uh, dumating si uh, Brondial. Uh, at uh, of course, ang kanilang import, Shabazz Mohamed. Yet, bagamat loaded ng talent itong SMB, maaga silang pinauwi ng Meralco Board. So, ang ating fast take issue today, ano sa tingin mo ang rason sa pagkatalo ng San Miguel Beermen. One minute, Abak. Go! Well, uh, after their uh, defeat to, to, to Meralco last night, Coach Leo Austria mentioned the word chemistry or the lack of it, ano? As the reason why the Beerman uh, took an early exit in this tournament where they are expected to go deep, ano? I think ko then it was chemistry. Alam mo, it's not easy when you change import twice in a very short tournament. I really thought uh, Orlando Johnson could do a very good job, ano, helping a team that is oozing with talent. But yet they brought in Shabazz, you know. Eh, hard to refuse, eh. It's an NBA veteran, but it was like changing horses midstream. Tapos, you bring in a couple of locals na ipapasok mo sa, 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 sa rotation, eh, talagang uh, uh, may merong mag-aano sa chemistry. So not, not to mention that four, four months ago, they traded two starters in Arwin Santos and Alex Yobagnon. Nasa adjustment period, sabi ni Coach. I'm not sure how long that adjustment period would would take. Ano? Well, mabigat ang, ang uh, salitang chemistry. Alam natin yan sa team sports. no? Ang, ang ibig sabihin yan, <laughs> maraming ibig sabihin yung abak, and you've been there for so long, uh, either hindi pa nagkakakilala o may nangyayari sa loob. Alam mo, iba yung chemistry. <laughs> and, 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 tumbukin na natin yan. Ang chemistry, ang ibig sabihin niyan, hindi lang maganda pa ang samahan. Either dahil hindi nagkakakilala pa o dahil merong konting problema. So sana nga, eh, yun lang hindi nagkakakilala sa panig ng San Miguel Beermen. Pero ako, personally, I thought 
siya ba, bagamat siya'y napakagaling, maganda ang credentials, I've always doubted his defense. I've always mm-hmm. doubted his work ethic and his ability to be physical. Alam naman natin ang PBA, eh, napaka-physical. Uh, at kalaran dyan, hindi ka malambot, hindi ka malamya, hindi ka soft. Well, Shabazz Mohamed is a terrific scorer, no doubt, terrific uh, offensive weapon, pero I had my misgivings pagdating sa kanyang depensa. And when you have a guy like Chris Newsom scoring 20 points on a team na maaari sanang nadepensahan ng katulad ni Shabazz Mohamed, eh medyo, again, you wonder kung ano ang uh, mangyayari sana sa San Miguel if they had kept somebody na medyo mas matindi pagdating sa depensa. Alright, let's go to our second fast take issue of the morning, uh, Abak. Ito naman ay tungkol sa boxing. Alam natin na tapos na, nagretiro na ang ama, si Senador Manny Pacquiao. So balit, umusbong ang anak na si Jimwell Pacquiao. At siya ngayon ay nakapanalo na ng kanyang unang laban doon sa uh, Estados Unidos. So abak ang tanong, hanggang saan sa tingin mo ang mararating ni Jimwell Pacquiao sa larangan ng boxing? One minute abak, go! Uh, si Jim well, whatever he does inside the ring, ano, Jim Well Pacquiao will will never be Manny Pacquiao. Ano. But uh, the, the young man seems determined, and that is why he opted to stay in the United States, away from his family, so he he, he can uh, focus on his training. Ano. I thought it was also a, a good move to let him compete as an amateur, because it's easier to get fights as an amateur. You can join a tournament and fight three, four, five times in a in a short period then uh, turn pro and fight once or twice at most ano, in a year. Mas mahahasa siya as an amateur. And magandang gauge ito eh, to, to find out how far can he go before he turns pro. Manalo siguro ng uh, a, a handful fights and maihain for a for a world championship. Who knows? Ano? Sayang. Eh? But he's, he's in a very difficult position because uh, of the uh, legendary uh, background of his father. Ay, madaming comparison na mangyayari. But I hope Jim Wall goes far and succeeds as a boxer. Malaking bagahe yun, ano, Abak, na ikaw ay sumusunod sa yapak ng iyong ama. Isang legendary career and of course a Hall of Famer, future Hall of Famer. But when you look at the skills ni Jim Wall, you know, marami sa atin nakakuha, ng, na, na, napanood yung uh, snippets ng kanyang laban. How do, you, how do you assess him? Meron bang, meron bang galaw? Meron bang suntok yung bata? Meron, definitely may galaw dahil, uh, <coughs> eh, well, alam mo, you, 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 you go after your, your ano eh, yung, yung, yung genes niya nandyan eh, no? And uh, kinalakihan mo ang nakikita mo sa father mo. So you, you get, you pick up what you see, di ba? Sabi nga nila, oh, oh, the apple doesn't fa- fall for, far off the tree, ano? So with, with proper guidance and ano, Ang tanong dito is the ability kung how, how we can take a punch or uh, yung tapang eh, iba eh, baka si yung kay Manny Pacquiao eh. Oh, But oh. He, I think uh, Jim Well, he's, he's in the same boat as Bronny James, ano? Oh. Yung anak ni Lebron James or Charlie Charlie Wood, oh. the, the son of Tiger Woods, ano? Oh. Mahirap. <laughs> Tapos ikaw, anak ka ni Manny Pacquiao, boxer ka. Mabigat can yun. you imagine if Michael Jordan had a son playing in the NBA? Eh di lahat sinasabi, ang layo sa, an- layo sa tatay, yan, oh, di ba? Oh. Mahirap ang comparison pagka ang uh, father mo is a legendary athlete. Do, do you know of athlete. any father and son sa boxing na nag-succeed nag, 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 uh, yung anak? Kasi parang sa akin, na parang when you have a legendary fighter na father, eh, parang ang, ang, yung, yung bigat ng bagahe, Na, na pressure na sumunod ka sa yapak niya ay eh, talagang uh, mahirap ma-overcome eh. is, is that something na nangyari na in the past? Yes, nandiyan si Julio Cesar Chavez, hindi ba? Ang, uh, and his junior. Uh, pero nag, nag-champion din naman but, but uh, he didn't last long. Uh, oh. Medyo, ang kasabihan nga eh, napili yung karamihan ng fights that's why he, he got long in the end. Uh, <laughs> Doon na naman Sayang eh, eh gusto, gusto niya mag-box, mag-boxing. Diba? He could have ad- had other options with all their resources. He could have uh, studied law or medicine at, at Harvard or uh, Oxford or Cambridge. 
but he chose to be a boxer, oh. di ba? Oh. So, bigyan natin ng chance, di ba? Ako, oh, he's young, he's 21. A- ako, simple lang ang aking pananaw dyan eh. I, he may have the same skills. Sabihin na natin, i-give na natin kay Jim William dahil may pedigree nga. Meron siya nakikitang ihemplo, katulad ng kanyang amang si Manny. Maaring uh, napakaganda ng training na maibibigay sa kanya dahil uh, meron na silang resources para mangyari yan. At maaaring mabigyan siya ng break dahil anak siya ni Manny Pacquiao. Isa lang sa tingin ko ang magiging problema dito, nakakaiba kay Sen. Manny Pacquiao. Eh. Yung mm-hmm. hunger, kasi si Sen. Manny lumaki sa isang environment na kailangan niyang lumaban. Kailangan niyang mabuhay para ika nga eh, uh, lumaban siya para sila mabuhay ang kanyang pamilya. Iba ang sitwasyon nitong si Jim Well. Eh. Lumaki ito na talagang nandun na sa tuktok ang kanyang ama. And of course, uh, sa kaginhawahan na ng buhay. So ang tanong talaga dito is the hunger factor. Eh, na ito kaya ay pag tinamaan, <laughs> uh, magiging katulad ni Senador Manny na talagang may pusong lumaban. We never question the heart of a Pacquiao, but certainly iba pa rin yung background na pinagmulan ni Jimwell Pacquiao. All right. Third and final take of the morning, uh, pare nga bak, ito, tingin, ito naman, ay mainit na mainit na pinag-uusapan, itong Obiena, Patafa, Row, hanggang ngayon, ay patuloy na nagliliyab. And the latest, sinuspin din na ng, Pataf, ang, ng POC ang Patafa, kasama na rin ang FILTA, yung Philippine Tennis Association. Ang tanong, sa tingin mo, saan pa abot ang Obiena, Patafa, Row, bago ito marisolba? One minute, abak, go! Alam mo, parang uh, temperature ito, parang 41 degrees ang init ng, ng issue na ito, Tom. Ano? But I think itong, itong issue na ito, is, uh, eh, hindi dapat umabot sa ganitong uh, sitwasyon. Ano? What I'm saying is that this issue was mishandled right from the start. Ano? And ngayon na pumutok na ito, eh, sumabog na. Eh, di ba? Eh, how, it's, it's impossible to deact- ima- deactivate pa ito. It's a, it's a very embarrassing situation, not only for Philippine athletics, not only for the, the sports uh, leaders who are involved, but also in, for Philippine sports in general. Nakakahiya tayo. Sabi nga ng kaibigan natin, si Monico Puentebelli, eh, pinagtatawan na, na tayo in the international community. We only have one pole vault athlete in the world stage. <laughs> and nadi-deny pa to compete. Hindi ba? Eh, hindi pa ba na nakakahiya yan? Eh, the, the, our opponents are, are cheering. No? Na, sige, mag-away-away pa kayo. It's one less problem for us if we don't feel the PJ or Vienna. Well, uh, alam mo, I agree totally with you. Nakakahiya. Eh, yan, that's the word. Tama ka, Abak. Talaga, nakakahiya itong sitwasyon na to. Na kaisa-isa na. World number five, number one sa Asia. Pero hindi makalaban. Hindi dahil ayaw ng mga kalaban. Kung hindi, ayaw natin mismo. Yung mismo kanyang... NSA na dapat ay kumakalinga sa kanya. So, ang tanong kung tatagal pa ba ito? <laughs> ang hirap sabihin, ano, Abak? Pero as far as we're concerned, sana matapos na. Dahil ang talo dito, as EJ Obiena said, ang talo ay ang buong bansa. Uh, abak, maraming salamat sa oras na binigay mo sa amin at uh, for being a, a trooper, kahit na wala si Homer, uh, medyo nagkaabirya. But thank you so much. Uh, good luck sa chase down, mamaya. Tayo manunod yan. Ha? Maraming salamat, Abak, sa panahon. Thank you, Tom. Mga kaibigan, ang ating kaibigan mula sa Philippine star, si uh, Aba Cordero and of course, ang Chase Dan. Panoorin niyo po yan mamaya dito rin sa 1PH, uh, alas dos ng hapon. Mamaya po yan, ha? Chase Down, kasama ng ating mga kaibigan. Ha? Marami po silang pag-uusapan mamaya. Alright, mga kaibigan, before we uh, continue, isa muna pong paalala mula sa ating mga kapatid sa SMART. Puso Pilipinas is a movement to celebrate the Filipino athlete powered by SMART. Follow them on Facebook, Instagram, Twitter, and YouTube. Get a chance to win exclusive Puso Pilipinas merch by sharing their Facebook page in your social media accounts with hashtag Puso Pilipinas. The Giga Life app is the latest mobile app from SMART that lets you discover and enjoy your passions with the different Giga promos. It can be downloaded and used by SMART postpaid, SMART prepaid, pro prepaid, and TNT subscribers via the Apple or Google Play Store. What can the Giga Life app do for me? Check your balance, monitor your current subscription, top up using debit credit card, subscribe to the latest Giga promos, monitor your data consumption, auto-detect your mobile number when you are connected to Smart Network One Tap subscription to the most popular offer, 
Giga Video 99. And of course, Power and Play is powered by Smart. Alright, sa aming pong uh, pagbabalik, ang ating makakapanayam ang import ng San Miguel Beer, si Shabazz Mohamed. Dito po sa inyong paboritong Power and Play, hatid sa inyo ng Cherry Loom, Cherry Tigo at ng Chooks to Go. Ang oras po natin, 8.34 ng umaga. This time check is brought to you by Birmingham Subdivisions. Come home to Birmingham. I dare to dream big. To be a voice of my generation. To inspire resilience in the face of roadblocks. And in sharing my stories, I let others share in my passion. Follow Kai Stories on Twitter and share yours with Smart Double Giga Stories. Share two times the passion with two gigabytes for Twitter and more. Guaranteed every day, plus data for all sites. Simple, smart ako. Ready to have some fun on your first driving lesson? Nag-uumapaw sa real chicken juice. Naswak sa panlasa ng buong pamilya. Available in sweet roast, pepper roast, at harissa roast variants. Chooks to go. Masarap kahit walang sauce. Tawag na sa Chooks to go delivery hotline. 8687-1010 or online sa chukstogodelivery.com or via GrabFood at Food Panda. Time to make breakfast, kiddo! Let's go! Ham time! Make a meaty sweet breakfast with Ladies' Choice Ham Spread made with real meat and farm-fresh eggs. Ladies' Choice Ham Spread. Meaty Sweet Sarap. Basta man siya, hindi kailangan ng mamahaling panlaba. Sa Surf, Linis ay todo at aming best ever bango. Ang Surf na gamit nyo na with our best ever bango. Sa Surf, Linis ay todo at aming best ever bango. Ang Surf na gamit nyo, todo, Linis at aming best ever bango. New Surf and Active Clean with our best ever bango versus previous formulations. Todo, Linis na singgaling na mamahalin based on technical test versus brand X powder and polyester. Ang Surf na gamit nyo Mac, let's make breakfast now. Okay, chicken time! Enjoy a meaty linam na morning with Ladies Choice Chicken Spread, made with real chicken and farm fresh eggs. Set up! Ladies Choice Chicken Spread, 10 pesos lang SRP. The long wait is over. New season, new home. Catch the UAAP Season 84, starting March 26 on One Sports and UAAP Varsity Channel. Time to make breakfast, kiddo! Let's go! Ham time! Make a meaty sweet breakfast with Ladies' Choice Ham Spread. Made with real meat and farm fresh eggs. Mmm! Set up! Ladies' Choice Ham Spread. Meaty sweet sarap. Basta man siya, hindi kailangan ng mamahaling panlaba. Sa surf, Linis ay todo at aming best ever bango. Ang surf na gamit nyo na with our best ever bango. Sa surf, Linis ay todo at aming best ever bango. Ang surf na gamit nyo, todo, Linis at aming best Bango! New Surf with Active Clean with our best ever bango versus previous formulations. Total linis na singgaling na mamahalin based on technical test versus brand X powder and polyester. Ang Surf na gamit nyo, Total linis at aming best ever bango! Mac, let's make breakfast na? Okay, chicken time! Enjoy a meaty linam na morning with Ladies' Choice Chicken Spread. Made with real chicken and farm fresh eggs. Set up! Ladies' Choice Chicken Spread. 10 pesos lang SRP. 
Ay, kailangan ko na naman palitan ng bubong ko, pare. Mag-iisang taong pa lang yan. May tulo na kagad. Ay, bossing! Baka naman kasi hindi matiba yung ginamit nyo. Dapat ang gamitin mo ay Cherry Loom. Ang yerong aluminum. Basta yero, Cherry Loom. Tiba'y protektado sa pangmatagalang yero. Noli Iyala, Power and Play sa Radyo 5, 92.3 News FM. Power and Play with Com Noli Iyala. Muli po isang magandang magandang umaga sa inyo lahat mga kapatid. Lalong-lalo na sa ating mga kaibigan dyan po sa uh, Batangas City, sa Tanawan uh, City, sa lalawigan ng Batangas. Magandang magandang umaga po sa inyo lahat. By the way, gusto ko lang i-congratulate ang aking kaibigan si uh, Joel Agbanlog ah, na... <laughs> Naku, eh, pumasok na sa semifinals ng uh, club championship ng aming club dyan sa Forest Hills Golf. Uh, congratulations, partner. Good luck. Sana makapasok ka all the way to the finals para naman ma-blow out mo kami. <laughs> uh, uh, good good game uh, mula kay uh, aking kaibigan si Joel Ag- Agbanlog. Gusto ko rin congratulate nga pala si uh, Jera Season. Uy, pareng Jera. Uh, congratulations sa iyong bagong show dyan sa RJ TV. Naku, uh, panoorin niyo po yan uh, kay Jera season dyan po sa RJTV. Alright, mga kaibigan, at this point, uh, ang akin pong ipapasok na panayan, nakuha natin uh, a few days ago, um, siya po ay dapat naririto. Ito pong si Shabazz Mohamed nung isang linggo. Uh, makakausap sana natin siya live. Pero, nagkaroon nga ng abirya, kaya naman bumawi yung tao at nagpa-interview sa atin a couple of nights ago, just before yung laban nila kontra Meralco. Of course, alam na natin ang nangyari. Minalas si, ang, ang San Miguel Beer at maganda ang laro ng Meralco. Kaya po sila ay napauwi na maaga. Pero napakarami pa rin pong nasabi ang dating NBA legit na player 14th pick back in 2014, eh, a true scorer. In fact, sabi ko nga, bihirang-bihira na makakuha ko ng guest na actually napanood ko at nagamit ko ha, sa NBA Fantasy League. Isa yan si Shabazz Mohamed back in 2016, 2015. Ah, magaling na yan si Shabazz. Eh. So we certainly know his his uh, his quality and right now siya po ang ating makakapanayam ang SMB Super Import Shabazz Muhammad plus on the show no other than San Miguel Beer Super Import Shabazz Muhammad Shabazz it's good to have you on Power and Play thanks for joining us oh i'm happy to be on happy to be on happy to join you, you know uh, it seems like I, i have known you all my life because it's very rare and not not every day that I get to talk to someone who I used to use in NBA fantasy, you know, a legit <laughs> NBA player. And it's just great to have you on the show. How has your state been in the Philippines so far? Yeah, it's been great. It's been great. You know, um, everybody's been treating me with great respect and everything's been great out here. The fans have been great. And, um, you know, we've been playing really well and, um, and everything's been going great so far. I can't complain. Before you came over to Manila, um, did you hear anything about the Philippines in particular? Uh, what did you hear about it and what were you most looking forward to uh, doing in Manila? Yeah, um, I, def- I look up. So um, I did some research on San Miguel. So I've known they've, they've won a lot of championships. I wasn't really familiar with the PBA, but um, I kind of got familiar when I was interested in signing here. So, um, you know, I know this is a powerhouse team and, uh, and I'm really happy to be, be a part of it. Best part of your stay so far, Shabazz. Uh, is there any particular place that you've seen or you've visited or you want to visit while you're here? Uh, yeah, I always wanted to um, probably go to the beach, but, you know, it's, it's kind of mm. far, they said, the beach. But uh, mm-hmm. you know, they've been, my, a couple of my teammates been, you know, taking me out, taking me out to eat. And, you know, it's, it's, pretty, it's, pretty, uh, it's pretty much the same as, as America in terms of food. I mean, the food is, is, is great out here. That's one thing that um, surprised me. I didn't know the food was going to be this good. And, um, That's one thing that's been great, and it's been easy to adapt and uh, easy to make the transition. Uh, it's just uh, unfortunate that you got you came at a time when, of course, the uh, pandemic was still there, and you know the alert levels were still up. But now that it's opening up, I'm sure you'll have more opportunities to visit some of the places, uh, some of the sites in the Philippines that are, you know, very beautiful. The beach is definitely not too far away. But no, let me ask you, you know, you've been an import uh, the last couple of years. You played in China after a long stint in the NBA as uh, a first rounder. Um, is there a different mindset that you're now playing as a an import in different teams in different countries 
compared to your mindset when you were there in the NBA? Yeah, I think I think um, I think it's a little bit of the same mindset. You know, um, obviously you want to be you want to be in the NBA, but um, one thing I try to do is you know just get better as a basketball player. You know, um, it's a lot of basketball for me to be played. I'm I'm blessed to be even playing this game, and especially playing, getting to travel across the world and get paid. You know, some good money to be playing this game. So. Um, one thing I always try to I try to tell myself is, uh, you know, this is everything's end goal is, you know, obviously getting back to the highest level. And that's the NBA. So you have to do what you have, you're supposed to do here and uh, and, ha and handle business and, and win games and play well. And uh, and that stuff might come in the future. Well, uh, like I mentioned, uh, you, you've been around, you played in China uh, and obviously it's a different kind of league. But how does the PBA compare to the CBA uh, uh, in terms of? I guess the style, the physicality, and even the pace of the game. Yeah, I think it's I think it's really familiar. Um, I think I think it's they're really similar. I mean, uh, you know, uh, it's, it's been great playing in both of those associations. Um, you know, I, I think the PBA is a little bit more. The game's a little bit more faster, which is nice. It uh, fits my fits my game. You know, and CBA is a little bit more slowed down. Guys are a little bit taller, but. Um, out here, I mean, it's a lot. You get to run a lot and um, and transition, and that's one thing that I noticed. And um, you know, the, it's so, and I noticed too, like more of the imports are, are more big, big guys. You know, in, in in China, you can get two imports, so it's usually a guard and a big guy. So having one import and and um and doing a, doing a lot of work is, is something that I, I was looking forward to, and something that is uh it's been it's been good good so far. And, and you don't mind the physicality of the of the play in the PBA. Yeah, the physicality is uh, yeah, it surprised me too. You know, they let you play a lot, and um, you know, you can't complain with that. I mean, it gets you better as a as a player, it gets you tougher. So. Um, that's one thing I had to adapt to. I think in the first couple games, um, you know, so I'm starting to adapt to that, and and uh, hopefully it keeps going, it keeps going as it's supposed to go. Well, you mentioned that you looked up San Miguel. They are a powerhouse. They are one of the winningest teams in the history of the PBA. They're an original member of the PBA, and of course, a a strong member of Asia's first uh, uh, pay for play uh, uh, league. What do you like about your team, uh, Shabazz? Uh, now that you've played a couple of games with them. Yeah, I just noticed we have a lot of talent on this team. Um, you know, the first couple of games were obviously a couple bump, uh, a little bumpy because it was my first first time getting to know the guys and and getting to play with them. But um, I think we're really starting to gel now, and you know, we have a lot of really good players and did some research on some of my guys. And um, you know, a lot of the guys are, are really really good players, and and that's one thing that's nice. I don't you know have to do have to score fifty points every time. We have a lot of guys, you know, Jumar and and, and other guys like that. I mean, there's a lot of talent on this team, so. Um, you know, that's that's one thing that I really noticed and um, happy to be a part of. Well, are, are you surprised about, uh, you know, your placing in the elimination round that you're not making the uh, top four and not getting that uh, incentive? Are you surprised with that kind of result, considering how you said how talented this team is? Definitely, definitely. Um, I, I'm definitely uh, surprised with that. You know, I think... Um, it obviously didn't go our way. I think Coach was saying we needed three team, one of the three, one of those three um, games for a team to lose. So um, they went three and zero. So I mean, um, you know, we got to grind it out. And uh, obviously, we wanted to get in that top four, um, but you know, we have to come out with sense urgency tomorrow because you know he's our backs against the wall and it's do or die time. So um, you know, um, I obviously think you know we, we we definitely need to come out with a sense of urgency. You started slow. You started slow uh, with San Miguel uh, against Magnolia. Uh, you know, you, you missed a couple of free throws and you started uh, picking up the pace uh, only late. Then, of course, you had monster games against Rain or Shine. And, of course, that huge 57-point explosion against Meralco. Do you think you've adjusted to the league and to your team at this point? Definitely, definitely. I think, um, you know, we haven't we haven't played since since uh, we played Morocco again in two weeks, but I definitely think that helped me out. You know, get get it more adapted to my team and and us figuring out the plays and stuff like that. So um, I definitely feel adapted and comfortable out there, and and you know my guys know my game pretty much. So um, I think we're gonna we're gonna be in good shape tomorrow. In terms of your teammates, uh, Shabazz, who has impressed you uh, in that in that team, and you know who do you hang out with more? Uh, you know now that you're yeah. on break. Right. Yeah. Um, I mean, uh, you know, obviously, the, you know, big fella. I did some research on him, Jumar. You know, he's, he's been the MVP. He helps us out a lot inside there. And, uh, you know, Vic as well. Vic Manuel is really good. His footwork is is, uh, is really, really good. Um, you know, 
And, um, you know, Chris Ross with his defense. I mean, we have a lot of pieces on this team. You know, if we all put it together, that's why I think we're really dangerous. Even with Terrence Romeo, I mean, he's really good, can really score the ball as a point guard. So um, I'm really impressed with the team, you know, Lazarus, who can shoot the ball. I mean, so um, we just have to get it together and just and just gel as, as a unit. And I, I think we'll be hard to beat. Your impressions, you know, Coach Leo is, uh, Leo Austria, of course, is one of the most respected uh, coaches in the league. Uh, and he has, uh, you know, coached this team to several championships. And uh, obviously, it's a difficult task for him to keep managing so much talent in one team. Your impressions about Coach Leo Austria, Shabazz? Yeah, I mean, great, great coach. I mean, um, you know, he's definitely, it's a hard, hard job, you know, trying to, trying to, you know, because they're saying, I mean, um, a lot of our guys on our team were top guys, you know, going to all these other teams. So um, it's very hard to, to structure that. Even you look in the NBA with those guys, those top teams. I mean, it's a lot of pressure on those coaches. So, uh, you know, my utmost respect for Coach Leo. I mean, he's doing a great job and especially to implement me in, in the middle. I mean, it's, it's really hard for import to come in the middle of the season and, and, and get these plays down and, and, and play good as a unit, play really well as a unit. And that's that's credit to coach and and uh, and the whole unit is doing doing a great job with that. Talking about, you know, getting into the team in the middle of the season, was there pressure to, you know, um, you know, play, you know, improve yourself? Uh, because obviously San Miguel had passed on a, a guy like Orlando Johnson. You know, they came from, uh, you know, another import. And was there pressure to prove yourself that you were worthier than the others? Uh, not really. I mean, I mean, I, I know what I can do. Um, even in China, you know, I, I mean, I put up really big numbers there. So, I mean, I, I knew what I could do. I mean, at first game, I really thought I was rusty. I mean, I, I know it's normally not like me to miss so many free throws. So I definitely was waiting for that second game and third game. And, and I definitely felt way more comfortable. And, and uh, we were still trying to figure out my position that first game. You know, we were trying to put me at the four, put me at the three, you know, sometimes put me at the five. So we were trying to figure it out. And I think we have a better understanding of that now. And, and, uh, and, and, and it looks it looks better. Now that you've seen most of the teams, if not all of the teams, uh, is there are there particular teams that you have been impressed with and uh, you're looking forward to uh, playing against? Yeah, definitely. I mean, definitely probably Magnolia again, you know, where they beat us. I mean, that, that's been the only team that's beat us so far since I've been here, you know, so um, I really want to, you know, get obviously we have we have a tough task ahead of us. So I don't want to, you know, um, uh, you know, but uh, but I mean, definitely want to play them again and uh, be able to really, you know, because I'm really gentle on my team now. So I think we can give them, you know, some trouble if, w once we get past. All right. Well, you know, uh, I was looking at the statistical points of all the imports. And right now you are leading the best import race with, uh, in terms of statistical points. Uh, and of course, a bunch of others are right behind you. Uh, who have, uh, you know, among the imports, who, who do you think is going to be one of your toughest foes uh, to win that particular award? Yeah, I think, um, you know, I, I think uh, Harris is, is really good. I mean, I, the one thing I think with him, he's he's really good for that team. He reminds me a lot of, you know, Draymond Green on that team. He's he's the heart of that team, you know, the way he's passing the ball. And, I mean, sometimes he doesn't even have to score that many points. He's just doing the the, 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 the dirty work and, and doing the little things. that That's why that team is number one and and uh, much respect for him. And, you know, even, um, you know, uh, even Bishop is a really good player. And, um, you know, so we have our hands full with him. So, um you know, there's a, there's a lot of guys and even some um, some local guys that I was really impressed with as well. You know, a couple other teams. Mm -hmm. And, um, you know, um, so I was really I was really impressed with the, with the talent here and and, um, and excited to be a part of it. Let me let me just go a little bit now to your NBA career, uh, Shabazz. You were a you were picked number 14 uh, back in uh, 2014. And, uh, you know, you were one of the highly touted players coming out of college, coming out of high school. You were expected to fall in the top three picks of that particular season, uh, season's draft. How would you describe your six-year NBA careers, uh, career? Uh, and do you, are you happy with what you have achieved so far in your NBA career? Well, I think first off, it's it's all it's already hard to play in the NBA, and let alone play for more than five years. So I, I mean, I'm really proud about that and the achievements. But um, definitely, you know, that's why I definitely think I have unfinished business there. But, um, you know, being in there for six years was a great learning experience. You know, I got to play with the highest talent le levels, you know, in the world. Got to play against everybody, LeBron, Kobe, and, you know, all my heroes growing up. So I think it's a blessing. And, and um, you know, I definitely am happy with that. Definitely happy with what I've done in the NBA and what I've, you know, I've, you know, I've done some good stuff. You know, obviously I'll make, make it to the playoffs probably farther or something like that would be something that is great too. But, 
you know, I'm, I'm happy just, you know, I, I had six years in the NBA and, and that, that's a pretty long time. So, you know, um, obviously yeah. that's the main, goal, that's the highest level. So you always want to try to get back there, but, um, you know, it's one step at a time. And, and, uh, like I said, I'm, I'm, I'm happy with what I've done in the NBA. It's not every day that Filipinos get to see a legit NBA player, uh, you know, playing in our, in our league. And of course you've had your time in the NBA. Uh, you played with some of the best and some of, and played against some of the best as well. Uh, what was your most, you know, memorable moments in the NBA, Shabazz, when, when you were playing yeah. with the Minnesota Timberwolves and, and, of course, moving on with the Milwaukee Bucks? Yeah, I think I think my 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 most memorable was probably, um, you know, playing against Kobe the first time. You know, I'm, uh, you know, my family and everybody from Los Angeles, we were big time Laker fans and and um, getting to play against Kobe and actually having a good game against them, you know, scoring 20 plus against them and. And, you know, I'm getting to talk to him and stuff like that. And that's always was my favorite player. So I think that's one thing that was probably the best for me. Besides having Kevin Garnett as a teammate as well, he's awesome. I mean, his attitude and work ethic really rubs off on us. And, and um, you know, I, had, I pl played against, obviously, a lot of a lot of guys and playing against LeBron and Kevin Durant and all those guys and, and actually, you know, scoring those guys and, and making plays and playing Golden State. So, I mean... There's a bunch of bunch of memories, and you know you always have to cherish those. Playing playing with Giannis, you know Giannis is a great guy, really humble dude. Um, you know Milwaukee, getting to getting to experience the playoffs, and uh, you know going to the Boston Garden and getting to play the playoffs, and so I mean it was a lot a lot to get to um, you know um, inherit, and and uh, I'm really pleased and really blessed about it. Those are Hall of Fame names, Shabazz, that you've mentioned, and you know obviously these are players that we only dream about. We only you know, uh, admire uh, from afar. Uh, and you've been with them up close and personal. Who among your teammates, or even the guys that you competed against, would you say uh, you know are your closest to and uh, you admire the most? Yeah, I would say closest to. I mean, um, it was because uh, in Minnesota, you know, it was it was always you know um, you know we had Coach Flip Saunders, always me, you know um, Zach Levine, Andrew Wiggins, and you know Carl Anthony Towns. So I used to always. Right. You know, hang out with those guys those are mainly my guys you know um that whole little group and gang so um you know growing uh, you know coming in coming in the league we always wanted to you know make an impression and we were always you know the young core that you know that was that was coming out of the west you know for the timberwolves so those are those are mainly my guys and um you know obviously you know mentorship with kg i mean getting to getting to have a year with him before he retired i mean was was one of the coolest things i think you know and and and, and um just getting to play with him and and you know and picking his brain so i mean it was, a, it was a lot of lot of lot of relationships and and a lot of ones i still have and and, and it's great that's and and you know it, it's a great thing and i'm very blessed to have those relationships uh, zach levine has moved on of course from the timberwolves and he's doing very well now an all-star and of course just a couple of days ago uh carl anthony town scored 60 points in an incredible show uh, and of course, the, the Timberwolves have been playing really well. Uh, have you connected at all with with the, your guys, as you, as you oh, said? Oh yeah. And, and yeah, uh, yeah. What, what have you have you told him? You know, have you congratulated Cat for what he's done? Oh, definitely, definitely. I, I shot him a text. You know, probably a million people were texting, but I definitely <laughs> shot him a text. You know, he got back to me by the time a text because that's sixty, man. That's press really hard to do. You know, on the yeah. NBA level, it's really hard to do anywhere, to be honest, to get sixty points. I mean, that's hard to do, and and. Um, you know, I've always been telling him how great he's been doing this year. I mean, he's been doing great this year. I mean, he's, he should be in the MVP race and, and you know, and they're going to make the playoffs. And, and, and he's really he's really starting to, you know, solidify himself in the league. And I'm really proud of him and Zach as well. You know, I reach out to him and, you know, and tell him how proud I am of him because, I mean, he's, he's going to be in the playoffs and he's going to be, he's going to be, you know, a top seed in the East. So, um, you know, Wiggs, I mean, all those three guys were all stars. So, I mean, um, right, you know, right. yeah. So, yeah. You know, well, well that, you know, I, uh, it, it's difficult right now, and everyone's bunched up together, especially in the East. You know, in the West, we know the Suns are, are way up there, but everyone else is, uh, you know, running after them. Who, in your opinion, wins the East, and who, in your opinion, wins the West, Shabazz? Ooh, that's tough. The, well, I, I think, the, I mean, it, it's so it's so crazy because usually I think the West is is, is tougher than the East, but I, I can't, I can't, I mean, I beg to differ this year. I mean, the East is just so loaded. I mean, even with, you know, James getting traded to the, the Sixers, I mean, they have a chance. Um, but, man, I just I just like Milwaukee. I mean, I just, man, just Giannis is just, you know, right. he, yeah. he just, I mean, I mean, he's just, man, he, he turns it on in the playoffs and, um, and he can do so many things on the floor. With rebound the ball, bringing him up, and he's—I mean, he, he's like seven feet, and he just—you know—he moves around like he's like he's six five. So 
I, I just think that team with the all around team they have, if they're healthy, I think it's going to be them and, and either, you know, either a wild card. I think Philadelphia, if either, either, either Philly or, man, it's, it's just, it's really, even Miami. Miami's in, in the, yeah, heat, Miami yeah. Miami. Miami's Miami. in the, in the hunt. Yeah, yeah. right. So it, it's a lot, but I definitely think Milwaukee will be in the Eastern Conference final, finals. But I don't, I don't know who else will be in there. It, it could be Miami or, or Philadelphia, or even the Nets. I mean, you look at Kyrie, yeah, yeah, Kyrie yeah. scoring sixty points, and he just doesn't. Mm. Just, I mean, you, when you're getting sixty points on that that many, I mean, oh, that boy. less shots, and then he can still he came out in the eight minute mark. I mean, that's just remarkable. So, right, yeah, um, yeah. well, if they get you know, if they get a good stand, I mean, I think they can they can they can go all the way too. Oh, that's a dangerous team. The, the Nets are a yeah. dangerous team. With, uh, with everyone healthy and coming back, oh, that's going to be a, a really tough team. Of course, Milwaukee, oh, yeah. is, Brooke Lopez is back, and that's that just adds so much firepower definitely, and defense definitely. to the Bucks. Yeah, definitely. I mean, it's going to be great to watch. It's going to be great to fun to watch. Right. All right. Well, you know, you've seen the PBA play. You have, of course, uh, played a lot of years in the NBA. Do you think that the dream of a Filipino player playing in the NBA can ever be achieved with the way we play basketball? I definitely think so. Um, I mean, there was a couple guys that really, really surprised me. Um, I don't know. I mean, I think there's a couple guys, you know, there's a TNT guard. Um, I think Tell it's, me, it's Mikey. Uh, uh, Mikey Williams. Yeah, Mikey Williams. The, the What he does, I mean, his ball handling and his separation. I mean, that's that's NBA type moves he's doing there. And uh, he really impressed me a lot. I saw him on TV and I was I was asking more about who he was. Um, mm -hmm. You know, so he really impressed me a lot, you know, just getting his separation and, and stuff like that. And, you know, and a couple other guys. So, I mean, I definitely think, you know, if, if, if um, you know, I definitely think a, a PBA player could could possibly play in the NBA or even even play in the G League and get opportunity to play in the NBA, which is great, too. So, I mean, I definitely think that that can happen. And, and uh, I really think the PBA is doing a great job of, you know, having their having their guys and, and, and getting the talent out here. Well, you know, I, I hope you, um, you know, your words become inspiration to everyone. And uh, hopefully we'll see a Filipino in the NBA someday. I've, I've, I've got a couple of questions left here before yep, no I let you go, Shabazz. And, you know, you, as I mentioned, you've had so many accolades, individual accolades uh, in your career. Uh, you were second team All-American. You were a high school awardee, prep player of the year, Mr. Basketball USA and everything else that you've done in your career and playing six years in the NBA. But one thing is missed from your resume, a championship, Shabazz. How important is a championship to you at this point in your career, especially now that you have a chance with a powerhouse team like San Miguel? Yeah, it's definitely something. You know, the only time I've I've been in the playoffs was with Milwaukee. You know, that first round, and we got upset into the Celtics, which we should have won that 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 series. So I mean, um, besides that, I definitely, I'm, I'm definitely winning a championship, and I know I have all the tools in this team to do it. So, um, you know, I'm gonna try my hardest tomorrow, and you know, and try whatever I can do for us to win this game and and win these win these two games and uh, and go to the next round and and uh, you know and go from there. All right. Well, um, you know, you have an opportunity, and you've said it time and time again. Uh, it's still the NBA that you're looking forward to, and you're hoping that you can get back there. If you had a makeover, a, a re redo of your career, is there anything that you would change in your career and how you could stick in the NBA right now and what would you do to make that happen? Yeah, for sure. I just say patience. Um, you know, patience. I mean, I wasn't I wasn't patient. You know, I wanted to play now and um, look at it now. If I would have been patient, I would have been playing now and, and, and doing a really good job, which I was doing a really good job. But... I say just not, not being patient will, will cost you, you know, a contract or whatever else you're doing. So I just say patience. And and that's one thing that uh, I wish I would have had back then. All right. Well, as a final parting shot, uh, Shabazz, any message to your Filipino fans that now is growing? And of course, to the millions of San Miguel beer fans that are uh, hoping for a great series against Miralco. Yeah, I appreciate it. And uh, I thank you for all the fans out there. I mean, I'm serious. I mean, this is one of the best places I've been with 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 uh, with the fans as well, and you know, and and, and the culture here, and and you know, and, and really taking it in. But um, we're definitely excited to play tomorrow. We're gonna give you guys, we're gonna give them all we can, and and and, and win the game. All right. Well, Shabazz, uh, we wish you all the best. Uh, by the time this is played, it's either you're uh, packing your bags or you're gonna play another game. So I hope, uh, okay. I certainly <laughs> hope to see you one more time 
in the yeah. PBA. Shabazz, thank you so much for joining us on Power and Play this morning. Thank you so much for having me. Pakaibigan yan po ang ating panayam kay Shabazz Mohamed. Just before he played ng kanyang laban kahapon, of course, alam na natin ang nangyari. Napasibat na ang San Miguel. Shabazz had 24 points, but he was he struggled kahapon. Uh, the physicality, you know, a lot of uh, good defense played by Meralco. And of course, Shabazz is no longer going to be playing in the semifinals. But still, a great interview. Um, bumawi siya. Bumawi siya sa atin. Sayang, hindi siya nakabawi. Para sa San Miguel Beermen. All right, mga kaibigan, before we take a break, balikan muna natin, or panoorin muna natin ang ilang uh, uh, ating pong napili na online videos and of course, para sa ating pop culture sa mundo ng palakasan sa ating Stop and Pop. Ito siguro dapat ang babala. Huwag magsiselebrate kaagad Pagdating sa larangan ng sports, kahit akala mo ay eh, nakapuntos ka na. Panoorin natin itong video ito. Pagmasdan niyo pong mabuti ang bola sa volleyball game na ito. Ayan ha, nag-serve. Akala ng kabilang team, service ace na. Ang di nila nakita, tumama pa yan sa tuhod ng isang player at saka sinipa ng isa pabalik sa kabilang side ng court. Yun ang sipa oh. Ang ganda ng sipa. Akala mo football. Di nila yan napansin dahil nag-celebrate na agad sila ang ending point sa kabilang team. <laughs> totoo, nga, totoo nga ang kasabihan. Bilog ang bula. <laughs> Yat yan po ang ating stop and pop moment sa power and play. Alright mga kaibigan, we will come back sa aming pagbabalik. Makakausap po natin ang mga Signal HD Spikers, si Ria Meneses at Cesc Molina sa power and play. Hatid sa inyo ng Cherry Loom, Cherry Tigo, at ng Chooks to go Ang oras po natin Anim na minuto Makalipas ang ikasyam ng umaga The time check is brought to you by Birmingham Subdivisions Come home to Birmingham I dare to dream big To be a voice of my generation. To inspire resilience in the face of roadblocks. And in sharing my stories, I let others share in my passion. Follow Kai Stories on Twitter and share yours with Smart Double Giga Stories. Share two times the passion with two gigabytes for Twitter and more. Guaranteed every day, plus data for all sites. Simple, smart, ako. Ready to have some fun on your first driving lesson. Nag-uumapaw sa Real Chicken Juice na swak sa panlasa ng buong pamilya. Available in Sweet Roast, Pepper Roast, at Harissa Roast variants. Chooks to go. Masarap kahit walang sauce. Tawag na sa Chooks to go delivery hotline. 8687-1010 or online sa chukstogodelivery.com or via GrabFood at Food Panda. Time to make breakfast, kiddo! Let's go! Hang time! Make a meaty sweet breakfast with Ladies' Choice Ham Spread, made with real meat and farm-fresh eggs. Mmm! Sarap! Ladies' Choice Ham Spread, meaty sweet sarap. Basta man siya, di kailangan ng mamahaling panlaba. Sa surf, Ladies ay toto at aming best ever bango. Ang surf na gamit nyo na with our best ever bango. Sa surf, Ladies ay toto at aming best ever bango. Ang surf na gamit nyo, toto, Ladies at aming best ever bango. New surf with active clean with our best 
Best ever ba versus previous formulations? Totally nice na sing galing na mamahalin based on technical test versus brand X powder and polyester. Ang surf na gamit nyo, Totally nice at aming best ever ba <laughs> Let's make breakfast na? Okay, chicken time! Enjoy a meaty linam na morning with Ladies' Choice Chicken Spread. Made with real chicken and farm fresh eggs. Set up! Ladies' Choice Chicken Spread. 10 pesos lang SRP. Bukang kailangan ko na naman palitan ng bubong ko, pare. Mag-iisang taong pa lang yan. May tulo na kagad. Ay, bossing! Baka naman kasi hindi matiba yung ginamit nyo. Dapat ang gamitin mo ay Cherry Loom. Ang yerong aluminum. Basta yero, Cherry Loom. Tiba'y protektado sa pangmatagalang yero. The long wait is over. New season, new home. Catch the UAAP Season 84 starting March 26 on One Sports and UAAP Varsity Channel. Broadcasting live, live from TV5 Media Center, 25,000 watts ng Padita. Informasyon, servisyo, DWFM, Radyo 5, Radyo 6, 92.3, News FM, News FM. Power and Play, team na sa Radyo 5, 92.3, News FM. Power and Play with Com Noli Iyala. Alright mga kaibigan, at this point, gusto ko lang po magpasalamat sa lahat ng uh, tagapagtaguyod ng Power and Play. Unahin ko na po, of course, ang Cherry Loom, ang Yerong May Aluminum. Sa ganitong pabago-bago ang panahon, napakainit, tapos minsan uulan, kailangan natin ang matibay at protektadong bubong. Dapat ang bubong ay Yerong May Aluminum. Kapag may aluminum, chak na pang matagalan. At isa lang ang alam kong dekalidad na yerong may aluminum, yan ang Cherry Loom, tibay protektado sa pang matagalang yero. Cherry Loom, ang yerong may aluminum. Thank you so much, paring Elmer Ngo. Cherry Tigos, uh, salbungin o saluhin ang swerteng hatid ng Year of the Tiger. Own a brand new Tigo 2 Pro crossover with Cherry's Year of the Growling Tigo Promo. Sa halagang 68,000 low down payment, may sporty 5-seater ka na na safe in any road condition dahil mas mataas ang ground clearance nito kaysa sedan. Spacious Thank din ang you. seats at legroom kaya mas komportable mapa driver or passenger. May 9-inch infotainment system pa na pwedeng i-connect sa mirror link and Apple CarPlay para mas convenient at chill ang travel mo. Pili na from the 6 lucky colors of Tigo 2 Pro. Passion Orange, Lava Red, Graphite Gray, Vivid White, Tuscan Beige at Laser Yellow. Hashtag move for more colors and adventure. Bisitahin ang www.cherryauto.ph to know more about the fun to drive Tigo 2 Pro. Thank you so much kay paring Romel Sitin. Chooks to go ang nag-iisang manok ng bayan. Thank you. you can now Chooks to stay at Chooks, the first dine-in restaurant of Chooks to go. Visit us at Level 1 Robinson's Place, Lipa, Batangas. At uh, hanapin niyo po yung quarter chicken with only chooks rice and soup na talaga namang paboritong-paborito ng marami. Ang chooks to go, ang nag-iisang manok ng bayan. Marami pong salamat kay Boss Ronald Mascarinas at kay Boss Mel Mack. Thank you! Of course, marami din po salamat of course sa Joyride, ang bago ninyong kasundo. Magpadala with confidence kahit para sa negosyo o personal bulk deliveries man yan. Kayang-kaya yang i-deliver securely with Joyride. And of course, ang aming pong parating na na Joyride car. Kaya download the latest Joyride Super App now. Thank you! Elms Seafood Paluto, the latest offering of the Elms Resto Bar Group. Located at Unit 2, Ground Floor, Calle Bistro, Ever Commonwealth, Quezon City. Enjoy their delectable seafood menu in a relaxed, casual dining atmosphere for your salo-salo seafood meal. Visit also Thank Carlitos Sisig Seafood Paluto along Shaw Boulevard. Open for dine-in dine -in and take-out from 11 a.m. to 10 p.m. Maraming salamat kay uh, Miss Malu Yambao, of course, ng Elms. Skin, your face and body anti-aging center. It's the beginning of the year. And the constant fight to lose weight from the holidays is harder than ever. So, abangan nyo po ang aming mga promo sa skin. Thank uh, you! Polar branches at Alabang Town Center and Green Hills and One for your skin assessments and treatment. 
Uh, ang telephone numbers po ay 0917-890-1640 or 0977-809-8886. Birmingham Subdivisions, come home to Birmingham. Located at Antipolo, Cainta, General Trias, Cavite, Marikina, Pasig, Rodriguez, San Mateo, and Tagaytay. Napakaganda po ng kanilang mga units. Building community since 1984. Celebrate in your new home, your home in Birmingham subdivisions. Check out their FB pages or call 0939-921-7458 or 891-27731. Thank you! ASEA Subic Beach Resort. Experience the getaway that you deserve and dive into limitless happenings, rejuvenating experiences, and gastronomic adventures. ASEA Subic Beach Resort. Marami din po salamat, of course, uh, the, uh, sa Likhabi, Weave by Weave, Hand in Hand. Check out their IG pages. And of course, Power and Play is powered by Smart. Thank Live Smart! You. Marami din po salamat, of course, sa uh, Derm Clinic, ah, kay uh, Dr. Angela Pineda. Alright, mga kaibigan, ako ay eh, talagang napakaraming dapat pasalamatan. At sa inyong lahat na patuloy pong sumusuporta at sumusubaybay sa Power and Play tuwing Sabado. At this point, ipapasok ko na po ang ating susunod na panayam kasama ng mga bagong salta, bagong lipat sa Signal HD Spikers na patuloy ang uh, magandang performance sa bubukas pa lamang na PBL, PVL Open Conference. Mga kaibigan, ito po ang ating panayam with Ces Molina at Ria Mineses. At maraming salamat kasama po natin ngayon. Walang iba kung hindi ang mga Pigas Signal HD Spiker, Ces Molina at si Ria Mineses. Magandang magandang araw, Ces and Ria. Thank you for joining us sa Power and Play. Good evening din, sir. Good evening po. Uh, alam mo, unang-una, no, uh, Ria, ikaw muna tanongin ko, how good is it to be back? Naglalaro na uli. Sa wakas, naglalaro na uli kayo after so long uh, na pinaghintay. Of course, yung huling uh, conference was in a bubble, pero ngayon... Uh, Mali kayo nagbabalik dito sa Metro Manila. Um, Siyempre, same feeling din po. Lagi naman po kami excited tuwing may liga po talaga. Kasi yan naman po talaga din inaabangan namin ngayon mga professional players na kami. Oo nga, no? professional na talaga ang, uh, ang liga. And of course, ang dami rin fans na nami-miss kayo sa aksyon. Uh, Ses, uh, mahirap obviously na manggaling from a pandemic uh, dahil limitado ang galaw natin. How uh, is your game shape? Kamusta ang condition mo uh, as you start playing dito sa Open Conference? Um, naging um, smooth naman po yung pagbalik namin from pandemic eh, with the help ng mga coaches po namin. And we have our own um, strength and conditioning coach din po para makabalik kami sa shape namin and sa katawan namin para makapaglaro kami ng mas maayos po. Nag-bubble training ba kayo? Uh, and kamusta yung preparations ninyo? Ilang linggo ang uh, ginugol ninyo to be able to prepare for this uh, PVL Open Conference? Uh, Ria? Um, yung preparation po namin, nag-training po kami 10 days dito sa Manila. Tapos nag-bubble training po kami ng one month sa may San Mateo Rizal po. Tapos ngayon po nandito na po ulit kami sa Manila. And says you're back in a bubble. Balik na naman kayo sa bubble. So, yes. um, ito ah, tatanayin ko lang sa inyo. Mahirap ba mentally, psychologically, uh, from one bubble to another, hindi nyo nakikita ang inyong mga mahal sa buhay, uh, na muli babalik kayo, and then you're playing at the same time. Mahirap ba mentally and psychologically para sa inyo? Um, on the other side po, mahirap talaga. And sa... Uh, mag Nagiging inspiration din po namin yung family namin na hindi namin kasama ngayon. Dahil, like, ngayon po na pro kami, pro na kami as volleyball player, um, kailangan po namin talaga panindigan yung pagiging pro namin. At kailangan namin mag-sacrifice po talaga uh, para mas maganda yung mapakita namin sa mga audience natin ngayon. Ria, sabi mo nga, one month kayo na training sa, sa Rizal, and then ngayon, uh, ito na naman, ma, although mabilis itong format natin, kasi matagal pa rin itong turneo na to, lalong lalo na kung aabot kayo sa finals, no? Uh, sino na mi mismo, Ria, <laughs> sa ganitong klaseng setup, uh, nahihirapan ka ba? Uh, actually, kasi ako, parang dahil po nung college sa UST ako, parang sanay din ako na parang iniisip ko lang din na nasa 
dorm lang, ganun lang po. Pero syempre, di naman naiwasan kasi dati, every weekend, uuwi ka. E ngayon talaga, as in, literal na walang labasan. So, paminsan, sila mama, dinadalan kami ng food dito sa hotel. Mm. So, yun, kahit pa paano nakikita namin sila. Pero bawal kami lumapit. Oo oh, nga. Well, kung sa bagay, uh, dahil sa teknolohiya, eh, talagang meron na tinatawag na Zoom, may eh, tinatawag na Messenger. So, nakakapag-usap na rin at nakikita nyo yung mga uh, pamilya. Alright, well, let's go to your uh, adjustment period, uh, Ses at saka uh, Ria. No? Uh, you had a very big win sa laban ninyo against the defending champion, Cherry Tigo. Uh, sabi nga ni Rachel Andakis, no? and I will quote her, sabi niya, uh, madali daw ang adjustment kasi mature enough na yung mga teammates niya. That I guess kayo. Uh, bakit napaka, parang, parang walang adjustment, uh, Ses? Doon sa unang laro ninyo against uh, <laughs> the defending champion pa man din, Cherry Tigo. Um, I think, sir, yung, yung adjustment, pinalitan talaga namin siya ng um, improving talaga. Improving our chemistry and yung gelling lang ng team dahil um, magkakakilala rin naman na po kami sa labas dahil lagi rin kami nagkakalaban. And nung naging magti-teammates po kami, um, uh, yung naging goal lang talaga namin is pag nasa loob kami ng court, uh, maglalaro lang talaga kami and yung goal namin is to win every game. At yun lang po, kailangan namin tapusin yung araw na yun. Yun lang yung igogoal namin. Well, magandang mindset yan sapagat uh, malinaw na alam nyo kung, na, kung ano yung focus ninyo at hindi kayo nawawala. Pero Ria, yung bang, uh, of course, last year kayo ay magkasama ni Ses uh, sa Petrogas, no? At uh, kahit pa paano ay eh, nakapaglaro kayo together. Yung bang pagsasama ninyo uh, together sa Petrogas, Ria, ay eh, nakatulong sa adjustments. At least dalawa kayong pumasok na sabay dito sa kupuna ng signal. Um, siguro kasi familiar na din kami yung dalawa sa isa't isa. Yung, sa way na yung work ethics namin. So parang hindi na kami ganun nag-adjust din sa iba kasi... Hardworking din naman lahat ng tao na kasama namin dito eh. So, wala na. Yung parang talagang tatrabahuhin lang yung lahat para mag-work talaga. And, and hindi naman kayo, ano, hindi naman kayo naninibago with uh, with this new setup, Ses. Hindi kayo, hindi kayo biglang, uh, dahil nga sabi mo, nakakalaba naman kayo in the past. But uh, this is something na uh, madali, madali ang naging proseso at pagtanggap ng team sa inyo. Yes, sir. With the help of our management din po talaga naging posible lahat ng magkasama-sama kami sa isang team. And nung una din talaga, sir, medyo mahirap kasi, di ba? Parang, ah, ito, dati nakakalaban ko lang to, pero ngayon, <laughs> kailangan. Di ba? Teammate ko na oh. siya ngayon, hindi ko na siya pwedeng yabangan. So, sa training na lang nangyayari yung mga ganun. <laughs> <laughs> sa training na lang, ano, ang rivalry. Iga, yes, pero sir. Pero pagdating sa actual game, ito na, iba na yan. Ria, yes, alam mo na, banggit mo in one of your interviews na kaya ka lumipat sa signal galing sa Petrogas, na, of course, nag-expire ka sa Petrogas at namili ka ng mga kupunan mo. Dahil nagustuhan mo, and I quote, no, nagustuhan mo yung plans ng signal uh, para sa'yo. No? Uh, 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 can you tell us what these plans are na nagustuhan mo uh, in particular kaya nag-decide ka, hindi, lipat na ako dito sa Signal HD? Well, isa na din kasi siguro po yung dahil naging coach ko din po si Coach Shock dati sa mm -hmm. Petron na team. So, nakita ko din talaga kung paano siya magpa-training and all. Kaya parang naging naging bearing din siya yung sa paglipat ko. Kasi gusto ko pa rin matuto eh. Kasi parang hindi pa ako contented kung ano yung meron ako ngayon. And yung plans ng signal kasi noon, di ba galing sila sa bottom na parang 1-9 one, one ata yung standing nila last time. Na parang sobrang eager nila na makabalik talaga sa Final Four. And, yun, nakita ko din naman kung paano sila kumuha din ng mga kasama, kasama kong papasok na nakita ko din talaga na sobrang desidido talaga sila. Oo. Oh. Ah, may mga ibang player kasi, mas gusto nila, sasamahan nila powerhouse team na para ika nga nandun na kaagad. No? Sabi mo nga, Ria, eh, itong signal galing sa ilalim, no? sama ng kanilang naging last conference and they, they are rebuilding. Uh, is that yung mindset mo? I'll stay with you, Ria, muna. No? Is that your mindset na mas maganda yung rebuilding kesa sa uh, sasama ako sa magaling na, mas malaki ang pressure uh, ba kung uh, sumasama sa powerhouse team kesa sa isang kopo na uh, gusto pa lamang umangat at kasabay ka sa pagangat? 
Siyempre, mas maganda yung galing ka din. Yung masabi mong naidala mo yung team na yan sa taas eh. Iba yung pumunta ka sa powerhouse na na parang baka mamaya maichapwera ka lang din yung ganun. <laughs> At least dito talaga, talagang pag-uusayan mo talaga para makuha nyo lahat yung gusto nyong goal eh. Oh, Well, Ses, ikaw rin, you had an opportunity to play with Petron, uh, of course, and nakasama mo rin si Coach Shaq uh, dun sa team na yon. And uh, of course, you won uh, a cha some championships there, some titles, you were awarded, you got some uh, individual awards dun. Gano'n kalaking bahagi ng reunion ni, uh, with Coach Shaq ang desisyon mo lumipat sa Signal HD Spikers? Um, naging uh, madali po sa akin na yung paglipat ko sa Signal dahil um, I know Coach Shaq's system, um, kung paano siya magpa-ensayo and kung ano yung ginugol niya lagi sa, sa player. Gusto niya lagi na talagang yung player hindi aalis sa kanya na hindi matututo. So kahit saan pumuntang team yan yung galing kay Coach Shaq na player, alam na talagang natutukan siya, may basic siya. And kaya niyang mag-perform. And not only coach, Shaq, meron din kami dalawang assistant coach na galing, pet, na galing Petron na nakasama namin ngayon. So, nagiging madali po talaga yung trabaho kasi parang um, ginagawa na lang ni coach, Shaq, ito na yung gagawin nyo, tatrabahuhin nyo na lang. Kaya nagiging smooth po talaga ang training namin. At I think yung first game namin naging maganda rin dahil napaghandaan din talaga namin sa training and sa bubble namin. Well, uh, of course, you came from Petrogas uh, last year and uh, kahit pa paano, uh, nagkaroon kayo doon ng, ng panahon na uh, makasama, makabanding ang inyong team. Um, sa tingin mo, what will you miss the most ngayon na uh, wala ka na doon sa kuponan ng Petrogas? Yes. Um, palagi naman po nating mamimiss talaga yung mga taong nakakasama natin and especially yung company na pinaglalaroan din natin. So kung paano rin sila mag-alaga and kung paano rin makisama yung mga tao doon, yun lang lagi yung mamimiss namin. Mahirap ba yun, Ria, to leave Petrogas? Na alam naman natin, you know, kilala ko sila Ricky Villavicencio. These are people na napakahuhusay na ng mga managers. No? Eh, uh, mahirap ba na uh, lumipat ng team uh, after your experience sa Petrogas? Actually, hindi naman mahirap kasi parehas silang, um, parehas na company maalaga. Eh. Yung paglipat din namin dito sa Signal, sobrang welcome din kami ng mga boss namin tsaka ng manager namin dito. So, parang Parehas lang eh, kahit naman din sa teammates, ala din nagkakalayo kasi lahat talaga parang magtatropa na din talaga, parang ganun. Kaya, ala din, namimiss mo siguro yung mga malilit na bonding sinin sa dating teammates, pero oh, napapalitan oh. din naman ng mga kasama mo dito. Alright. I, I wanna go to the um, uh, the first victory ninyo, opening uh, game win laban sa Cherry Tigo. It was a very, very good game para sa inyo. Dahil doon, si Coach Shaq ay nakapagbitaw sa isang kanyang interview. No? Sabi niya, para akong, and I quote, no, nabunutan ng malaking tinik sa aking puso. Kasi last PVL, ang bigat ng dinala, dinala namin. Ngayon, iba na. Sabi ko nga sa team, ibang usapan na yung ngayon. Pwede nating baguhin kung ano gusto natin mangyari. Mukhang very, very satisfied siya. Parang ang kanyang pananalita ay meron siyang tinutukoy. Siya, saan yung tinutukoy niyang pwedeng baguhin na ngayon itong kung gusto natin baguhin, kaya na natin baguhin. baguhin. Is this uh, the kind of team na gusto niyang buuin para sa inyo? Um, I think po talaga, sir, na nagtitiwala talaga si Coach Shaq sa bagong team ng Signal ngayon. And knowing uh, our first game or yung una namin nakalaban is defending champion ng PBL, um, talaga mabubunutan si Coach Shaq ng, ng tingig dahil <laughs> naging smooth yung laro namin. And talagang nakinig kami sa instruction, nagkaroon kami ng good communication. And yun nga, sir, yung willingness ng bawat isa sa team na manalo, yun talaga yung nangyari dun sa game na yun. Kaya I think Ganun yung nasabi ni Coach Shaq dahil talagang nasunod lahat yung plano namin para sa araw na yun. Rhea, do you think this team, itong HD Spikers ngayon, ay very versatile? In other words, pwede kayong maging magtumutok sa opensa, pwede kayong tumutok sa depensa, you can go with all of your uh, sp uh, hitters outside, you have your middle blockers. Do you think this is a team na talagang kompleto? Sa akin talaga... Noong una pa lang, sinabi ko na din to sa ibang interview eh, na parang kami yung team na kung tao-tao, kompleto na din talaga kami. Yung gel na lang namin na pagsasama-samahin kami, doon lang namin malalaman kung mag-work talaga. Kasi tao-tao malakas talaga. 
kahit naman sa ibang team sinasabi din nila pag pinagsama-sama kami doon talaga yung magkakaalaman kasi tao-tao malakas din talaga. Kaya malaki malaki din yung tiwala ko na kaya namin makapasok sa apat. Uh, Ria, you had six, uh, 11 points, uh, 11 points, six blocks and uh, five attacks in your game against Jerry Tigo. Of course, Iko says was the top scorer. You had 16 points and uh, katakot-takot na attacks. And of course, you had a, uh, your blocks, your defense, and of course, your aces. Napakahalaga. Ikaw, kayong dalawa, together with uh, Rachel Andakis, uh, Angelia Raneta, you form, uh, and of course some other players, you form what they call now an iron wall. Yun ang tinatawag ninyo yata sa, sa signal, no? Yung iron wall. Ha, gano kahalaga sa tingin nyo itong depensa ninyo para kayo maiangat patungo sa finals? Assess. Um... I think po talaga sir, kailangan namin i-maintain yung mga nagawa namin na maganda ngayon and dagdagan pa. Sabi nga ni Coach Ak, hindi doblihin. Kailangan triplihin kasi hindi magiging madali po talaga yung season ngayon. Dahil lahat ng team nagpalakas talaga, nagtitraining. Pero I think kung magpo-focus lang kami talaga sa goal and magtatsaga kami lalo sa ensayo, I think kakayanin po namin makamit yung goal namin this season. Are you comfortable, Ria, sa role mo? Sa Signal HD Spikers? Yes, po. <laughs> Super com comfortable, ha? Ah. Oo, kasi actually mga kasama ko din po ng mga middles dito. Mga star, ano ba? Sila din yung mga, <coughs> ano ba sasabihin? Baka magmukhang mayabang. Hindi ko okay lang. <laughs> yung mga inaasahan din ng mga gitna, yung dun sa mga team nila ng college. So, alam ko na <laughs> hindi rin ako mahirapan na kahit ma-off game ako. Meron alam kong papalit sa akin na okay din. Oo. Well, mahaba pa ang conference. And unang laro pa lamang yan. But of course, uh, yung unang panalo, laging matamis yan eh. Masarap dahil at least alam niyo that you're on the right track. No? Lalong lalo na kung tatalunin mo, katulad ng Cherry Tigo na napakalakas din na team. No? Um, Cesar, you more confident uh, after that win rather than, than nung pumasok kayo sa, sa conference ito. Are you now more confident na kaya niyo makipagsabayan sa mga malalakas na teams? I think confident din po talaga yung team namin ngayon. Hindi lang ako. Pero sabi nga ni Coach, hindi pwedeng magpabanjing-banjing lang. Hindi pwedeng um, maging confident ka. So, yung first win namin, sabi ni Coach, uh, sige, enjoy natin yung panalo ngayon. I-celebrate natin yan ngayong araw na to. Pero kinabukasan, trabaho na ulit tayo. Yan yung lagi niya sinasabi sa amin. Kaya, hindi din po kami pwedeng maging kampante kung ano man yung mga nararating namin ngayon. Oh, you know, uh, itong open conference is a very short format. Yung tinatawag na pool format, no? And uh, marami nagsasabi na mga nagmamatsyag na um, maraming pwede mangyari. Pwede machambahan, may off day. Dahil nga, pag maikli lang yung conference at kailangan nyo ng panalo, eh, pagka minalas-malas ka sa araw na yun, no? masama gising ninyo or medyo masama ang tiyempo, eh baka matalo sa isang dapat talunin ninyo, no? So, is there a concern dun sa format na yan, yung pool format na medyo may mabilis, Rian? Uh, are you concerned about that? <laughs> ano ba? Hindi, parang last time din kasi halos ganun din naman, eh. Nung padulo na, bigla nag-adjust kasi na iba yung alert level. So, parang kahit naman binilis, na ngayon, sanay na din yung mga players din na G na gano'n yung magiging setup talaga ng games. Mas oh. maganda nga yun kasi magkakaalaman agad. Kaagad. <laughs> Oo nga eh, ka ka kaagad ang kalaban mo, yung mga malalakas kaagad. At, and of course, uh, sa grupo ninyo, napakalakas ng pool ninyo. Zez, uh, sabi nga ni Ria, no, mas maganda nga ito dahil nagkakatapat-tapat na kayo kaagad. No? But uh, are you also concerned about, halimbawa, injuries? No? Dahil pag mahaba kasi ang format, Medyo pag nagka-injury ang isang player, pwede pang magpagaling at hopefully makahabol no, sa, sa mga susunod na games. No? Dito sa ganitong klaseng uh, pool format, pag nagka-injury, naku, eh, talagang ang laking bahagi nun para sa kampanya ng team ninyo. So, yan ba napag-uusapan ninyo? And uh, how does uh, conditioning play a role dito sa format na ganito? Um, I think so, hindi kami masyadong na-bother dahil well-instructed naman na po kami um, going to the bubble hanggang sa 
uh, pre-season namin and then hanggang ngayon nasa season na kami. And talagang malaking role po talaga ang mga strength and conditioning coaches namin dahil kailangan nila i-monitor yung everyday na gagawin namin. Actually, pati yung body weight namin, sir, talagang importante dahil uh, gusto din ng team na maging fit and healthy talaga para, yun nga, sir, uh, makamit namin kung ano man yung gusto namin. Kasi kung may ma-injured, medyo magkakaroon tayo ng mga delays, ganyan, sir. Pero, mm. as of now naman, sir, hindi kami masyadong na-bother dyan. And, yun, sir, um, focus oh, lang talaga oh. kami sa kung ano man yung gusto namin. Well, sana nga wala naman talagang ma-injure and of course, uh, uh, maganda ang maging uh, condition ng lahat ng players, hindi lamang para sa signal. Ria, walang fans na nanonood sa loob ng venue and we see this, medyo tahibik. Alam naman natin, sanay kayo sa napakadami ng fans na nanonood at may iingay na fans. Are you missing the fans? Siyempre na kami sa so, lalo na yung pag mga... May mga nakasuporta tan din talaga sa yung sumisigaw na naririnig mo sa paligid mo. Siyempre, sana makabalik din. I mean, makasama na din namin yung mga fans sa loob ng gym. Well, sabi nga ni Mr. Palu, nag-iingat lang daw sila. Pero hopefully, eh, sa susunod na round or at least sa mga uh, playoff rounds, eh, makabalik na, magpapasok na sila dahan-dahan ng mga fans, lalong-lalo na pababa na pababa ang ating mga kaso. Alright, I, wa I wanna move over now to a, another topic which is the national team. Uh, pareho kayong nahirang uh, na ilagay dun sa, sa pool ng ating national team. Ria, how excited are you to be part of the national team sa wakas? Siyempre excited kasi SEA Games to eh, kung sa... Totoo lang po. First time ko po na masasama sa SEA Games. Kaya sobrang excited po. Pero ngayon, syempre, focus muna po ako sa PVL. Kasi after po ng PVL namin, magkakasama na kami sa national team. Oo, nakakatuwa. No? At uh, meron pa kayong training na magaganap sa Brazil. So talagang nakaka-excite yan. Sis, you were part of the team in 2019, of course, sa Manila. Nakita natin how you perform. I watch your games. Uh, I was always there. Thank talaga you, natutuwa ako sa mga laro ninyo. Pero when you look at the team, it Star studded dyan, malakas na nga, no? Ano sa tingin mo ang mga improvements pa na pwede niyong gawin para lalo pang lumakas? And of course, makapasok na tayo sa podium sa, uh, dito sa Vietnam. Um, I think, sir, kailangan talaga natin ng uh, mahabang preparation dahil alam naman natin, sir, na hindi basta-basta uh, nakakakuha ng medal yung mga team na late lang, uh, late nag Uh, nagte-training. Pero dahil matagal na sila magkakasama, matagal na yung pinagsamahan nila, marami nang napanalo ng liga, kailangan po talaga ng matinding preparation para dito sa podium finish na hinihintay ng lahat. Well, uh, ang dami na nandiyan sa pool na yan. At talagang pinakamalalaking pangalan sa volleyball and kaming mga fans, very excited to see all of you together at yung mga pangalan na yun na nandun. But You know, of course, at the end of the day, mamimili sila ng final uh, lineup na ipapasok dyan sa SEA Games. So, I, I, alam ko mahirap na magbuhat ng sariling bangko. So, mm -hmm. I will ask you, uh, tungkol sa isa't isa, ikaw muna, uh, Ria, tatanungin ko, bakit dapat si SES ay ma masama dyan sa <laughs> national team para sa Southeast Asian Games? Well, kung titignan din natin talaga yung performance ni SES, kahit naman saan talaga maaasahan mo siya, sa blocking, sa atake, sa receive, sa defense. As in, all around talaga siya eh. Kaya, ala kong duda talaga dyan. Kaya, nabubwisit talaga ako pag may nagbabash sa kanya. Hindi <laughs> nila na-appreciate yung hirap ng tao. Kaya, nakita naman nila kung paano mag-perform yung tao na pagkailangan ng, ng team, lalo na ng team, yung tao. Yan, si Sis. Talagang gumagawa talaga siya kahit na may masakit dyan, may iniinday ang injury. Alam yan, basta laro, maglalaro yan na maayos. Ikaw naman, uh, sis, uh, alam ko na kilalang kilala, kilala mo si Ria. And uh, sabi nga ni Ria, it's her first time to be in the pool for the Southeast Asian Games. Bakit si Ria dapat mapili para sa Southeast Asian Games? <laughs> Ang hirap pala nito, sir. <laughs> um, I think kilala naman ng lahat and I think napapanood naman din ng lahat ng ng mga audience natin kung paano maglaro din si Riri and makikita natin na kayang-kaya niya i-dominate yung um, uh, depensa natin sa taas ng net so I think wala po akong duda kung mapipili siya para sa ating final lineup and 
I think mas makakatulong din siya sa team ngayon. At lalo na first time niya, mas maraming pa siyang experience na makukuha na pwede niya dalhin sa mga susunod pa nating uh, liga ng bansa. Sana nakikinig lahat ng mga mamimili dito, no? lalong-lalo na si Coach Jorge. <laughs> Talking about Coach Jorge, bagong coach ng national team, anong impression niyo sa kanya? Have you met him at all, uh, Ria and Zez? Nakilala, na, na, na-meet niyo na ba siya? Uh, bale ako po, nakasama ko na siya last time yun sa Thailand po, na liga namin sa AVC. Okay. Sobrang, anong impression mo sa kanya? Sobrang ano siya na tao, yung coach na matutok sa mga basic talaga. As in, pa ulit-ulit yung gagawin talaga hanggang sa makuha mo talaga. Kaya, maganda din. Feel ko magiging maganda din yung magiging result namin sa SEA Games. Basta makapag-training lang kami ng maaga. Ikaw, Sis, uh, anong, anong uh, reaction mo or impression mo kay Coach Jorge? Actually, sir, di pa kami nag-meet ni Sir, uh, ni Coach. Pero sa uh, meeting po namin, sa mga Zoom meeting namin, doon ko po lang po siya nakikita. And medyo hindi pa po kami masyado magkakilala. So, uh-huh. wala pa po ako masabi about the impression. Well, dapat ipakilala ka mabuti ni Ria sa kanya para tuduhin <laughs> na natin makapasok. All right, before I let you go, you are playing... Um, a uh, very tough team uh, bu- uh, bukas no linggo sa so, yung F2 logistics at uh, actually kahapon uh, they all again won the two wins na kagad ang F2 at talagang nagpapakita ng lakas how are you preparing for this one Ria paano ang game plan niyo laban sa F2 logistics nako malaking sikreto ko yan kaya <laughs> <laughs> Pero are, are you excited to play them finally maglalaro ulit kayo Ah, oh, syempre, lahat naman po kami excited talaga na makalaban ulit yung F2 kasi wala sila last time eh. So, inaabangan mm. din talaga sila ng ibang teams. So, makikita na lang po natin sa Sunday. Hindi ko uh, na kahit na ano, abangan na lang natin sa Sunday. Sis, uh, are you confident na yung harapan ninyo nila Majoy, nila Abby Maranyo will be an exciting one? And are you confident na kaya ninyong sabayan itong F2 Logistics? Um, I think, sir, hindi ko rin masasagot yan dahil uh, ayaw ko rin magsalita na tapos. Pero uh, we prepared, yun lang po ang sinasabi namin na talaga naghanda kami dahil um, hindi lang F2 pero lahat ng team kailangan talagang paghandaan ngayong season in. Um, yun din po, uh, kailangan talaga namin maging healthy yung body namin and injury-free while nagpe-prepare kasi mahirap uh, maglaro ng may iniinda. Kaya, Uh-oh. yun po. All right. Well, as a final question, And I know this is personal to you. Are you happy sa inyong bagong tahanan, Signal HD Spiker? Sesi, ikaw muna. Uh, sobrang saya ko, sir, kasi hindi lang, hindi lang bagong trabaho yung binigay, binigay nila sa akin. Pero bagong pamilya talaga yung binigay din nila dito sa akin sa Signal Family. And gusto ko lang mag-thank you po talaga sa management, the whole management, and yung managers, the coaches, yung mga teammates ko. Kasi hindi nagiging uh, mahirap yung trabaho dahil napakadaling pakisamahan ng bawat isa. Ria? Siyempre po, so super happy din po kasi sobrang laki din ng tiwala na binigay sa amin ng mga boss namin dito na kinuha nila kami para sa signal. And wala naman kami naging sobrang hirap na adjustments dito kaya sobrang winelcome nila kami ng super open arms. <laughs> Yun! <laughs> And I'm sure that they're very happy with you with the way you perform especially in your first game at marami pang isusukli kayo sa mga susunod na laro. Ses and Ria, good luck sa inyong laban uh, and uh, we will continue to to uh, support you and of course uh, uh, monitor all of your games. Maraming salamat sa inyong pagsama dito sa Power. Thank you, sir. Thank, Thank you, you po. po. Mga kaibigan, ang ating mga kasama sa Signal HD Spikers, uh, Ses Molina at si Ria Meneses. Ang gandang laban niya. Na. Bukas po yan, ha? Signal contra F2 Logistics. Kahapon, eh, itong F2 nanalo laban sa Cherry, Cherry Tigo. Two wins in a row on Cherry Tigo. Medyo dumi- dumidelikado ha. Zero and two. Samantalang nanalo din ang Choco Mucho kontra naman Black Mamba Army. So napakaganda laban sa PVL. Of course, over one sports po yan ha. Dito sa Signal TV. All right, Bago tayo, bago natin ipasok ang ating uh, in the spotlight. Ito muna. Balikan muna natin ang ating uh, special moments sa kasaysayan ng palakasan sa ating This Week in Sports History. March 18, 1995 o 27 years ago, inanunsyo ni Michael Jordan ang kanyang unretirement sa basketball gamit lang 
ang dalawang salita. I'm back. Yan lang ang sinabi ni MJ sa kanyang fax. Pero malachunami ang epekto niyan. Hindi lang sa mundo ng boxing or ng, uh, ng uh, basketball. Sold out agad ang mga tickets sa mga laro ng Bulls. Di nagkampyon sa kanyang pagbabalik noong taon na yun. Dahil uh, wala pa sa kondisyon si Jordan. Pero agad naman niyang binawi ang kanyang trono sa makasaysayang second three-peat ng Bulls mula 1996 hanggang 1998. Lahat ng yan nagsimula sa dalawang salita. I'm back. Michael Jordan unretires after two years with his iconic I'm back this week in sports history. Wow, what a day. Of course, uh, Michael Jordan, uh, arguably the greatest player of all time. Talaga namang nakakatuwa yung araw na yon na narinig natin yung mga salitang I'm back. Well, uh, ngayon po, Kagaya po ng ating laging ginagawa sa ating palatuntunan, uh, nilalagay po natin ang spotlight natin sa mga NSA na naghahanda para sa Southeast Asian Games. At ngayon po, ito po ang ating itatampok sa ating In the Spotlight. Ngayong araw pong ito, Sepak Takraw ang ating itatampok sa In the Spotlight at makakasama natin no other than the President ng Philippine Sepak Takraw Association Inc. at siya rin po ang POC, Deputy, uh, Deputy Secretary General. Walang iba kundi si Ma'am Karen Caballero. Magandang magandang umaga po, Ma'am Karen. Uy, medyo yung audio ni Ma'am Karen mukhang wala pa. Tingnan natin, mabubuksan natin yung audio. Ma'am Karen? Check natin yung audio ah. Tingnan natin. Kung uh, makukuha natin. Mukhang galing sa workout si Ma'am Karen ah. <laughs> huh? so, ang, ang sepak takraw of course mga kabigin lang si. Uh, Ma'am Karen, are you on the line now? Yes, I can hear you calm. Good morning po. Yun! <laughs> Mukhang galing ka sa workout mamas. Uh, nadistorbo ka ba namin? It's okay. Uh, I ran this morning in UP, Diliman. It's finally Yun. open, Com. So, ba talaga pala pong uh, fit na fit din kayo? Aside from being a very uh, busy executive ng sports, eh, talagang uh, mukhang fit na fit po kayo. Ma'am Karen, uh, I don't wanna take up too much of your time. Uh, tinatampok po natin ng uh, Sepak Takraw ngayong araw na to. And of course, um, uh, as I always ask a lot of the NSA presidents, Dumaan po tayo sa napakahirap na panahon. How was the uh, Sepak Takraw Association affected by the pandemic? And of course, yung po mga programa ninyo, Ma'am Karen. Yes, Com. Thank you for having me. No? Greatly affected tayo the past two years since the pandemic. But we were able to just have the maintenance upkeep via online training. But officially... Uh, the team has uh, entered the bubble training uh, sa Bulacan uh, Sports Complex middle of January all the way to March 9 of 2022 before we push for Hanoi in time for the 31st Southeast Asian Games. Uh, how, how do you plan, Ma'am Karen, uh, before we go to the, to the Southeast Asian Games campaign, how do you plan po to restart yung mga grassroots at elite programs ninyo? Ngayon na nagbubukas na ang ating uh, bansa, uh, lalong-lalo na sa larangan ng, uh, ng sports, uh, Ma'am Karen. Yes, Kong, we separated a training for grassroots, uh, pero simultaneous. Mm -hmm. So there are international accredited uh, national coaches mm -hmm. uh, that are going around uh, currently in Visaya, in Mindanao and Visayas mm -hmm. uh, to all our 42 clubs across the country. Oh? Oh. Uh, back to base, yes, we have 42 SEC oh. registered clubs okay. of SEPAC Takraw in the country. So back to basic training, of course, we're still minding um, uh, health and safety protocols. Uh -huh. And at the same time, uh, four uh, national coaches are specifically uh, assigned for the bubble training of our national team in preparation, not just for the Southeast Asian Games, but also for the 19th Asian Games in Hangzhou, China this September. All right. Uh, would you say, well, 42 clubs uh, para sa Sepak Takraw, and that is quite a, a feat. Uh, would you say, Ma'am Karen, that 
lumalaki na, growing an interest sa Sepak Takraw? Um, it has always been there, Tom, um, especially in the Mindanao region and Visayas. Ano lang talaga eh, it was a matter of, uh, and it was a matter for the NSA to set the opportunity and the stage for these clubs. So, mm -hmm. the SEA Games was a very great catalyst for getting back the interest Right, and for right. these grassroots to identify themselves with the sports again. So, well, we're very happy. Kaya 2020 is not just for Elite Sepak Takraw. It is all about going back to our roots mm -hmm. and getting in touch with our clubs to well, enhance uh, training for grassroots. Actually, Sepak Takraw is a very exciting game. Na nanonood po kayo na kami ng... Uh, a few uh, of the videos online and talagang uh, it is a sport that Filipinos will enjoy dahil ang bilis ng aksyon, ang bilis ng puntos and uh, very exciting. Alam naman natin ang, ang Pilipino mahilig sa points, parang basketball, no? Uh, Ma'am, you know, uh, well, talking about Sepak Takraw and the Southeast Asian Games, you had uh, five medals in uh, the 2019 edition ng Southeast Asian Games dito sa Maynila. Uh, and of course, two of, the, two of the five were gold medals Kamusta po ang, uh, sabi nyo nga, nasa bubble training ang inyong team. Uh, how is it uh, progressed and what are your what is your prediction for our team para po sa Hanoi Southeast Asian Games? Um, the spirits are high and the morale is high for our national team. But Kom, I do not want to give Anju pressure sa ating coaches and athletes. <laughs> Siyempre, it's, it's, it's a challenging task to defend our title. That's too bold. Uh, but we take comfort on the fact na pati yung mga Southeast Asian neighbors natin, na pandemya din. So, with the playing field na patag, uh, puso, preparation, at lahat ng support na kailangan ng team lang natin, ibigay natin. But the minute they step inside the field of play. It's their show. So we just have to give them whatever they need prior. What's up, Ari? But the show is there. Opo. Uh, Ma'am, ilan po ang nasa national pool right now? Uh, how many players are there? And who are the players to watch out for? Para lang natin ma 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 bigyan na support ito mga malalarong ito. Uh, those who won gold, ayaw na namin magdalawang, we don't want to take chances. Mm. And that's a promise we gave to POC President Con uh, Congressman Tolentino na kung sino ang nag-gold noong 2019, yung mga seniors natin, mm -hmm. sila pa rin ang uh, isi-field natin. Okay. Kasi uh -huh. ang task, kasi ang challenge kasi talaga sa tall order to defend their title or at least, you know, have a, a decent finish or Standing. I mean, from first, parang hindi naman yata masakit sa dibdib kung tayo ay bumag bumagsak sa six. Diba? Um, mm -hmm. So, mm -hmm. we do not take chances. Uh, we currently have uh, 12, 13 um, male athletes, but we're sending six. And those are the medalists in uh, our 2019 uh, campaign. So, yung mga veterano, medalista po natin ng isasabak natin sa SEA Games at Asian Games po. Ma'am, hindi ba ho mahirap? Alam natin ang Sepak Takraw is, uh, you know, about playing games and uh, kalangan may may teams on per side. Hindi ba ho mahirap ngayon, lalo na ngayon, na hindi pa tayo nakakalabas masyado, nasa bubble training kayo, na uh, makakuha ng competitive games para ang ating mga players ay magkaroon ng uh, more competition for their training uh, in preparation for the Southeast Asian Games. In other words, may plano ba ho kayong padala itong mga players natin elsewhere para bago sila sumabak sa Mayo, eh makapaglaro muna sila? Challenging kami. Eh. Of course, their, their, their safety and, 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 and welfare is paramount for the NSA. So, we are very confident naman sa capacity ng ating national coaches who are all trained abroad, mm -hmm. who had experiences abroad, mm -hmm. uh, periodization. And mostly, actually, I'm after their mental wellness as well. Okay. Uh, na kaya nila to despite all the challenges na inabot natin the past two years, we need not just to strengthen their physical uh, condition but their mental uh, wellness as well ko uh, all, all, all right well uh, so ma'am in terms of funding kamusta po ang funding ng Opo 
Ma'am, kamusta po ang funding ng Sepak Takraw Association? Um, thank you, PSC. Kaka-release lang last week ng ating uh, <laughs> si James uh, uh, specific uh, budget. But the past year, the past month naman, bayanihan ang nangyari sa aming NSA. Oh. Bayanihan, bayanihan. Importante naman talaga na ikangan talaga magkaroon tayo ng tulungan. Uh, kung meron ho mga interesadong sumama sa Sepak Takraw at matuto ng itong sport na to, ma'am, ano ba ho dapat nilang puntahan? We have, our, our NSA is open for clubs because we want structure and transparency, com. Mm -hmm. So they can visit our Facebook page, it's Filipina Sepak Takraw, uh, you can find us. You can leave us a message uh, and we will uh, encourage uh, more of club-based kasi mas nakaka-reach out kami sa club. Mas, uh, we believe in the power of the community talaga to, to, ano, to encourage our sport. So, ano lang po, sa Facebook po, available kami. Look for us, Pilipinas Sepak Takraw. Leave us a message and we'll reply to everyone. And we give those grassroots training to our clubs for free. All right. For free. All right. Well, uh, we wish you all the best, Ma'am uh, Ma Karen. And uh, we certainly are continuing our support para sa ating Philippine Sepak Takraw national team. And uh, we look forward to having you Maraming one day in the show. Po. Marami po salamat sa inyong panahon. Thank you. Marami salamat, Tom. Thank Mga you. kaibigan, ang Pangulo po ng Philippine Sepak Takraw Association, Inc., si Ma'am Karen Caballero. Of course, she's also the Deputy Secretary General ng Philippine Olympic Committee. Good luck sa ating Sepak Takraw team sa Southeast Asian Games. All right. Bago tayo magtapos, ha, ang dami na po nagpadala ng kanilang mga kuro-kuro, mga komentaryo sa ating pinupulsuhan ngayong araw na to. Fearless forecast nyo sa natitirang dalawang do-or-die games, Hinebra kontra Tokentex at Alaska kontra Enlex. Mamaya po, magaganap na yan. Ang dami na pong nagpadala ng kanilang mga komentaryo. Uh, I just like to acknowledge many of them. Bench Niche Uy, ang haba ng kanyang sinabi sa, sa Facebook. Uh, maraming salamat. Ruel Navales Bagongko. Uh, Alaska versus Hinebra sa semis ang kanyang sinasabi isa sa fierce rival ng Alaska ang Hinebra uh, as this would be their final conference in the PBA it would be fitting to have a series against a former rival uh, si Joey Nevitales hopefully Hinebra versus Alaska in semis Ped Esperida uh, Butchoy uh, Laron Valentin Hinebra versus Alaska uh, marami pa po ha, nagpadala sa atin dito Jason Contreras uh, Meralco on SMB uh, Doon naman sa Twitter Ang dami rin pong nagpadala Si Estan, Hinebra and Alaska Will, be, will clinch it Si uh, Iceman Superstar Enlex and TNT Out on top uh, Yan na kanya ha? Mike Jimenez Sir Noli The Hinebra yan To the semis Because they have the momentum And I don't think Newly import of talk and text Will absorb Shot system Right away Go Gin Kings Mark Suba, Beerman Nation, Dipsy Do, ang dami po nagpadala sa atin ng kanila mga uh, kuro-kuro. But ang ating pong napili na manalo ng ating dalawang gift certificate mula sa Chooks to Go, ang nag-iisang manok ng bayan para po sa ating pulso ng bayan ngayong araw na to ay mula, kay, uh, mula sa Twitter, ha? mula kay at Darth uh, underscore Ali. Ang sabi niya, Alaska and Hinebra for semis. Ganda storyline, traditional rivals facing for the last time, Coach Cohn eliminating the Aces or Aces beating its former legendary coach. Marami salamat kay Darth Ali at yung huli nating napili ay uh, mula naman kay Gilbert Nas Montejo sa Facebook. For me, Aces and Kings because Alaska one last ride, he never, never say die spirit. Ha? Uh, papadalan po namin kayo ng private message para makuha ninyo ang instructions. Uh, padala nyo po yung inyong pangalan, uh, contact uh, number, and of course yung address sa amin, uh, sa, either sa Twitter o sa Facebook. Alright mga kaibigan, that will do it for us this week sa ating isa na namang Sabado ng Power and Play. Thank you to all of you who joined us today sa ating lahat po ng ating mga guests at lahat po ng mga taga-suporta ng Power and Play. Uh, abangan nyo po sa susunod sa atin ang inay ko po kagaya ng lagi po nating sinasabi tuwing Sabado bawal ang masungit and of course sa lahat po ng ating gawain ad mayorem dei gloriam all for the greater glory of God kami po ang 1PH teleservisyo para sa Pilipino happy sports weekend mga kapatid more power more play
Kapwa ko Filipino Ipagmalaki ang galing na meron tayo Ilantag ang likas nating talento At magdala ng saya sa mundo Sa harap ng pagsubok kay di susuko Para sa pangarap tayo'y pusigido Pagpakitang gilas na huwag magpatalo Ipagdiwang natin ang Pilipino Mula noon at hanggang ngayon Talento natin ang bida Mula sa simpleng bakuran hanggang entablado natin ipakita May pagsubok man ang Pinoy Pinalalakas ng saya San man tayo sa pulo Tsumbe, sibay, lakay, pagiga Sama-sama pakita Ang galing natin katropa Sa kapwa ko Pilipino Kailangan ko na naman palitan ng bubong ko, pare. Mag-iisang taong pa lang yan. May tulo na kagad. Ay, bossing! Baka naman kasi hindi matiba yung ginamit nyo. Dapat ang gamitin mo ay Cherry Loom. Ang yerong aluminum. Basta yero, Cherry Loom. Tiba'y protektado sa pangmatagalang yero. Game over na! Next Saturday ulit, Noli Iyala Power Play sa Radyo 5 92.3 News FM. Ang daming okasyon! Let's make it! May magsalad Woohoo! For birthday and fiesta too Graduations all 